Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Pyalba Bowls Club for the final match of uh, the Pyalba Classic Men's Falls for 2020. It's been an absolute wonderful event, and what a game we have to finish off this wonderful carnival, which has been absolutely marvellous. Uh, the quality of bowls uh, from young to old has been absolutely outstanding. And, of course, in um, this afternoon's feature match, you can't get much better than this. It's number one versus number two. So we have a team of Jacob Nelson, Kane Nelson, Jake Wren and John Newell. Uh, playing against Sean McLaughlin, Trent Healy, Matt Bell and Mike Birmingham. So, Scotty McLaughlin, I should say. So Scotty, of course, skipping the team, has played some outstanding bowls throughout the last two days. So should be a uh, wonderful match to conclude this wonderful event with. So um, with that, the bell should be ringing any minute to get stuck into this uh, game so uh, share it out there if you possibly can to as many people as we can to get this great game of ours out to as many people because uh, there goes the bell uh, this should be an absolute cracker of a game so I don't know who you're barracking for but um, let us know what team you're on uh, and share it out there to as many people as we can G'day everybody, great to have you on board. Josephine, how are you? And Cameron, g'day Russell Hindle, how are you my friend? So just rolling the kitty to see who's going to get control of the mat. So of course the two leads should have a wonderful tussle up front in um, Johnny Newell and um, Mike Birmingham. Uh, Mike we've already seen once and the outstanding game he played as a lead so Johnny Newell's been playing very good bowls so it should be a wonderful contest so we see Jacob Nelson walking down the green getting ready there's Scotty McLaughlin dressed in his Victoria point outfit today <laughs> Scotty for Scotty forgot to take a mat down so they can wipe their feet on it down that end. <laughs> on you, Scotty. Have a good game, buddy. Um, so we see Scotty McLaughlin's team has won the mat and Mike Birmingham's um, dictating what length to play. So he's throwing a probably around a bit. He's got the mat fairly well back, so... Yeah, pretty much a... Uh, not full length, but a three-quarter length. OK. Windsor Wombats... You know, so Mike with his first bowl. Again, he's not going to be uh, too far away. Yeah, good starter there by Mike. Just uh, sitting in behind the kitty. Not too sure what green these guys have come off, but sometimes it takes them a few ends to get used to it. We see a lovely start here by Johnny Newell. Not going to be too far away. Just slipped in behind the head there. Not too far away. Mate, um... The, the uh, Windsor team at this stage are coming in 13th position. So we see another nice bowl there by uh, Bermo. Just pretty much jack high. Sitting in just a little bit behind the head as we see Johnny Newell... His delivery, just got to correct his, his weights. He could be a little bit overcorrected slightly here. He's just running across the head. Well, his weight was pretty good, really. It was his grass line that uh, he dropped there. So Matty Bell, as we said yesterday, Matty, a very experienced campaigner. Been around for a few years and um, one heck of a fine player. And a nice line on this one. I said they may have come off that back green. I'm not 100% sure on that. No worries at all, Nathan. Good to be able to help you, my friend. Now let's keep sharing it out there and get it out to as many people as we possibly can. As we say, Jake Wren quickly on the mat, playing his backhand. Very confident young man. Won the champion champion singles only last weekend. This time last week he was doing battle in that event against Keith Wally. Of course, Keith also here with... 
showcase Keith already once this weekend, playing, of course, with Kurt Brown. So, um, said he's got some great teams here. And I said, if you're not here this weekend, you've been watching this telecast. So I said previously, you want to get your names down for this next year. It's a wonderful event. The hospitality's first class. Uh, got everything going for it. We see Jake on the mat once again. First bowl was a very good bowl. It was shot bowl. Second bowl is looking very good too. Coming into the head very nicely. Any movement of the kiddies. They're going to sit just behind us. Two great bowls there by the young man. Picking up where he left off last Sunday by the looks of it. He really has been playing um, exceptionally bowls. Trent on the mat at the moment. He's a little bit underdone grass line for what he's after. So, said uh, the difference in in the top four placings is you've got uh, Scott McLaughlin, Jacob Nelson, Doug Wilson, and Matty Lucas all on twelve points. See a great bowl here by Kane Nelson. Yes. Holding three shots there. And the difference being Scott McLaughlin's on 50 ends one. Jacob Nelson and Doug Wilson are both on 47. And Matt Lucas is on 43. So uh, Trent just going a little bit wide with that one. A little bit stray with those drives. Okay, so, yes, just coming in behind the head there, so good bowl there by Kane, a very good covering bowl. <laughs> good on you, Helen Cooking done, back to relax and watch this last game. G'day, Deanne Robinson, how are you, my dear? Great to have you on board. I uh, said to uh, your sister yesterday, commiseration for Poppy, mate. Uh, be sadly missed in the bowling fraternity. I know he's very well loved and liked, mate, so... Uh, Anyway, catch up with you soon, my dear. G'day, Jado. Good to have you back on board. Wally Smith, how are you, mate? So we see uh, Scotty with his first bowl. He looks to be three down here at the moment. So Playing with a bit of weight. He's got a nice line on this one, too. His bowl starts working now. He's not going to be too far away. He got the jack. <laughs> got the jack. Jack looks to be still in bounds by the looks of it, just inside the line. Okay. Jacob got an open draw here. Did it come just inside the line? Tony Donner, good day, Tony. How are you? Uh, Scotty going back to the mat now after playing his first bowl, getting his second bowl out. Uh, he's pretty much got about five foot to draw a shot. <laughs> good day, Jay. Good day, Sean Keepy. Good day, Jane Bush. Uh, Jane, just for your information. Scotty McLaughlin is leading the competition on 12 plus 50. Great bowl there by Scotty McLaughlin. That's a wonderful correction. And Jacob Nelson's coming second on 12, 47 ends. So Scotty on 50 ends, Jacob on 47 ends. And Jacob got a nice line on this one. How's his weight? He's just going to pull up a little bit short. He come back on the line. Pretty much second shot, I reckon. So it's uh, one to the uh, Scotty McLaughlin draws first blood. I'd say there'd be one to the um, Scotty McLaughlin lead combination.
Yeah, when in there, I put a tape on it. Honestly, could have saved them all that time. I could have told them that from here. Anyway, they're controlling the head and not us. Now we see a, um, a good start there. It was a great bowl there by Scotty McLaughlin, just sitting just inside the line. Couldn't have played it much better. Oh, Mike with his first bowl. Mike Birmingham, of course, one of the Victorian point leads, a very steady player. Just dragging across the head to see the way the green's drying out now and running very, very fluently. So John's bowl starting to work in now. Don't think he's got the weight. Yeah, beautiful track would have come into the head beautifully. He had a little bit more weight. We see the wind blowing in the background there. That's Steve Bell here, young buddy. Oh, he's just running around behind the head. Just finishing off now. So John just got to correct his weight with his second bowl. His grass line's pretty well spot on. Again, he's got it out there. Yeah, that's the shot. That's a lovely, lovely correction there by John. It's needed just a little bit of weight, and he got it. So, Matty Bell with his first ball. Not going to be too far away. Uh, it's a lovely bowl there by Matt Bell sitting just in behind the hill. <laughs> Painting and watching. Good on you, Steve. So Jake with his first bowl. Just got to come around this bowl here of uh, Johnny Newells. He's done the first part right. His second bowl is not going to be very far away. Is he going to sit, Matt? Just got the edge of it and ran through. But it's come to a very good home there. Something his teammates can utilise. Sitting just in behind the head. Uh, Matt Bell with his second bowl. Doesn't have to change too much. He played his first bowl absolutely to perfection. Again, he's on a very good line. I think he may have just dropped his weight slightly, though. If it stays out there, he's going to make it pretty hard for him to come around, but it will. It's far enough out there. Still on. Play with good weight. You'll get the results. Yeah, Paul, it has, mate. Um, mate, we've won playing two. They decided to, uh, the team that uh, was on the rink of uh, relinquished rink seven to uh, so we could showcase uh, one versus two, mate. Nothing to do with us. It was a uh, tournament director's decision, mate. We don't interfere in stuff like that, mate. We just get asked to do it and we turn up to do it and whoever turns up on the rink, we broadcast. See, a good-looking bowl here from Trent Hill. He has if he got the weight. Oh, gee whiz, he had the line. Just need another couple of feet of weight. G'day, Rhonda Holmes. How are you? Well, with regards to you and Bob, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay, missing with that one there. He just got it away. A little bit wobbly out of the hand, which is very uncharacteristically like him. He normally, uh, young man's a very good driver because Kane just turned 17 um, during the week, so... Still a, uh, still a young man with a heap of potential, this young lad. I tell you, he's got the, uh, bit like, as I said previously, with young Cooper, got the world at his feet, so wonderful. Uh, see, Kane got it. He's just going to miss it again by the looks. It's just swinging back now, but just not far enough. So definitely just got the one down by the looks of it. Uh, Trent Healy just having a real good look on... Um, 
probably got a third by the looks of it, but uh, only got one in the head has the uh, Jacob Nelson-led combination with that uh, bowl of Johnny Newell's. So they can't really go ballistic at it, so... Yeah, that's right. it. So Scotty looking to draw this still on the forehand. It's still there. Tell you what, he's played a couple of great bowls already in this game. He's just going to cut across the head, but this could end up in a very, very good home. That's a pretty good blocker there for uh, for Jacob, but he's still got to be just under that. So we've got the yeah. No worries, mate. So we welcome back the uh, tournament director and director of everything for this weekend. I'm um, Johnny Walker. G'day, John. Good afternoon, Brian. Oh, oh, actually, good morning, Brian. Still, it is still it? good morning, yeah. mate. What a game. See, Jacob's not going to be far away of this. He's looking for the shot bowl. Tell you what, he's not far. He's got the edge of it too. That's a great bowl there by Jacob. A good attacking bowl. Got it just on the edge, so he's ripped it out of the head. But the danger being here is that he's only got the one bowl in the head. And Scotty can actually play onto that white bowl of um, Trent's and maybe sit that orange out the head for oh, a couple yes, of shots. Yes, yep. So we'll just see what shot Scott's going to play. He just left the head. Just come oh. into the game and I see the shot, yes. If he gets onto that white bowl, good. White bowl of Trent's. Yep. I'll tell you what, he's not far away mm -hmm. neither. His bowl's starting to work in nicely now. He can get it off this one. Oh, dear. Oh. Unlucky. So what's it going back to? Who's One down. Yeah, Jake's one down. Yeah. Yep. It must be Team Jack. Nelson one down. So obviously this Jack Eye bowl basically sitting just in behind the head. Just heard um, Kane say that bowl's keeping us out of three shots. Just got to get around it. Oh, no, a, just a bit just long. Tad heavy. So just the one down. What a perfect situation that has worked out, uh, Brian. Oh, absolutely beautiful, I John. See, there's a couple of a, a little comment there, but uh, this is in the, for the interest of the game and the live stream. I yes, think it's great. Yes, so mate, I mate, I said that to Paul, and I think he um, yeah um, said great, well done, showcase the great tournament, mate. Yeah. And well said too, Paul. It's true, mate. It's, it's uh, it's, as quite, I said, it's quite true, Paul, but it. Uh, uh, the fact is that they played on yesterday. This today's another day, but yeah, I hear wind, you wind's say. different, mate. Wind's Everything's different. different. We've <laughs> actually we've got a little bit more wind today. Right, actually, yeah. the wind sw has swung around. around. Yes, entirely different conditions yeah. to yesterday. So uh, definitely no home rink advantage on this one. I can yeah, guarantee point, you that. Points <laughs> taken. <laughs> But we won't go, we won't go on with, no, no, with no. that type of thing. No, it's fantastic to uh, showcase one playing two. And I was just saying before how close it all is to uh, look at, like, I mean, anyone can win this tournament. Someone just asked me before, who, who are you going to tip to win? I said, oh, I've got no idea. I haven't seen that because I've been too busy trying to <laughs> organise all this. But it's, so it's, it's also close. And a lot of the top teams are playing each other. I haven't really uh, worked out exactly who's playing who, but it's, well, Brian, it's really anyone. Yeah, Brian Cundy happens to bring Dougie, beats Dougie Wilson. Yes. That takes Dougie Wilson back. He could drop into the fourth spot and brings, it brings Matt, Matty Lucas up. Matty, Matty, Matty Wins, Lucas up brings there. Brings him up the third spot. So it's really anyone's and game. And quite frankly, Matty Wilson... Uh, Matty Lucas can probably jump the second spot, spot as well. If, as, that's <laughs> correct, yes. So it's, it's really, and I said, and that's what I've been saying too, John, it's basically, and a lot of people have been saying how wonderful the uh, scoring situation is, and I think you'll find that uh, you'd have to agree with the three points for the win and the one points for the end keeps everyone close yep. together, so it's exciting in the last game. The worst case scenario here in this one, one, two, if they have a draw. Oh, <laughs> that's so true. Door. That's ever so true, and... Uh, and quite realistically too, John, with all due respect, with 18 ends, they could even tie the end count too, mate, couldn't they, really? Exactly. <laughs> Which can happen, can happen. The so. bowlers of this calibre. Oh, that's true, ever so true. So then, of course, it would come down to, uh, if everything was tied up, but then, of course, it would come down to margins. <laughs> and when you go through the margins, there's uh, nothing really be separating the top three, only um, um, six shots separating the top three. Well, you know, when you look at the top four, 50 to 43. Yes. In margins. That's right. Uh, in, in ends points. Yes, that's right, in ends, but in yeah. margins, margins too. Margins. Yeah, in the, the top three, it's... Uh, that only comes back if it's equal. Yeah, that's right, 58 to 64. Yeah. So, you know, still... No one's run away with it. No, that's game. for sure. As we see a great bowl here by young Jake Rennie. If he picks up the kid, he's just going to miss. But what a great attempt. His bowl come to a very good home there. 
something that they can draw to there. So we see Matty Bell with his second bowl, very experienced campaigner. G'day Danny Supple, how are you my friend? I tell you what, Matty's got this be pretty close by the time it starts working in nicely now. Look at the draw on that hand, absolutely Look magnificent. Matty Bell. Great bowl there by young Matty. I was talking to Matty earlier on. You know, so he'd just been in and bought it, bought himself an extra shirt. Has he? <laughs> to add to his wardrobe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a great bloke, mate. <laughs> hey, Jake, not far away from this. Oh, Scar, just yeah. missed it, just missed it. Just saying before, the way young Jake started the game, he just picked off, picked up from last Sunday, really, where he uh, he won the state, uh, state champions, cha champions, state champions, 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 champion of champions, singles, yes. which yep. was a wonderful uh, achievement for a young man his age. Uh, Thanks, like I was, uh, very, I spoke very, to him. I want to get a photo of the yes. the young and the old. Yes, so absolutely. Uh, and to to Peter Leon and uh, Jake Ryan, I want to get a photo of yes. so we can post it on our page. Yes, well, as you know, uh, we put up on the uh, stream that um, that um, the state singles champion played a wrong bias in the last game. Yes, and Peter came in, had a yarn to us, said, Nate, we never mentioned his name. Never mentioned his name. <laughs> 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 come in and thank us very much. He says, it's a pleasure, Peter. <laughs> Actually, I, I couldn't help myself. I had to make an announcement to the club. <laughs> yes, I heard that too, which I thought was quite humorous. <laughs> very humorous. So we see Kane Nelson just dropping his line, just playing an on shot there. And normally Kane is very accurate playing those type of shots. He's got a very potent drive on him for a young man his age I don't think the shot's been played here yet No I don't think so mate but I think the fine cane corrects it pretty well too but quite realistically oh, this okay. is going to change things Yep So Jacob said yep yeah, just Said just go again Said he won't miss twice I think he will Yes he has Changed his weight was in two minds there. He did. To go quick. He did. He wasn't. There's one thing, people, you just don't let go into a shot with two minds. That's ever so true. Yeah. You're better off walking off the map. You get off the map. Put your bowl down. Realign. Come back and Realign. restart all over again. We have a lot of good comments too, John, on um, the young man in the last game. Oh, and young, uh, yeah, young uh, Cooper. Young Cooper, mate. And I said that uh, he works very hard on his game. You know, that's why his delivery is so good. I said, but his weight control was outstanding. It was great to see a young a young man of his his age playing this great game of ours. Because mm. if he sticks to it, he's got the world at his feet, my friend. Uh, we see Scotty. I think just coming around for a bit of cover here, seeing what um, weight that uh, Jacob's been calling Kane on. So just putting in a little bit of cover there by the looks of it. I think Patrick Walsh was going to come and see you too, was he? Who's that, mate? Patrick? Yes. Walsh? Yes. So I'll see if I can rouse, yes. rouse him up to come and have a talk. President of the Fraser Coast and yes. doing a great job. Just gone back in for his second term. Just great to see. See, Jacob Nelson got a lovely line on this. If he gets an inside edge off this bowl, he might not need it. His bowl working the head nicely now. Just going to, what a great wow. try. Great. That's a great bowl by young Jacob. Great second shot. Yep. And there, once again, we're saying, you know, Jacob Nelson, like it seems like we've known Jacob for 100 years, but he's only 21, 20, 22. 22 years of age. So it just seems as though he's been around for the last 30, 35 well, he's been years. Well, he's been here to this carnival every year. Every year is he here, so. And again. Uh, and they finished second in the first year. Yes. To, uh, to Baker. To Mr. Baker. This is good call there by yeah, Kane. Yeah. Pretty hard shot he's called him on, though. He said, land the oh, bowl and don't uh, move the kitty. <laughs> I think he's underlined us. I just don't think it's going to hold us no, It's just going to no. cut. He had good weight for the shot he was yeah. after. So it's just the one down, but that's three valuable ends to the Scotty with block well, and lead combination. That's the th there's three ends there. The three ends that mm -hmm. the Nelsons haven't got. G'day, Anthony Hughes. Good to see you back on air, my friend. And the, uh, the Scotty McLaughlin uh, side yesterday, they played an enormous game. Ably, ably led by Mike Birmingham. Yes, oh, he's, he's led very well this yep. weekend, hasn't mm. he? Has he ever? He certainly has, old Burmo. He's a very steady lead, though, isn't yeah. he? He's never far away, John. Yeah. What's him play? He's got back up here. Matty, you know, he's got a pretty strong team, really, mate, when you look good at it. Line, you know, Trent, Trent plays a great game at three. He's a good skip, too. Well, so. actual fact, last year, Trent and Healy 
uh, skip the first day. Yes. And uh, have a, I have a feeling that he changed and put Scotty up to skip. Skip, yeah. Because they finished in the money last year. Yeah. And it was a lovely start there too, once again, yep. by, by Mike. Start. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you, Anthony. So... Johnny Newell just yet to find his mark on uh, on this game as yet, but I know he's a very capable bowler who's been in great form of late. There's a big bowl. Yeah, great bowl there by John. Just touch the kitty. Green Dad John. Yeah. Good afternoon, Kevin Anderson. How are you, my friend? Great to have you on board. So, Mike will be second bowl. Again, he's got a nice grass line as the bowl starts working, coming back in the head now. He's not going to be very far away. Look at the kid. Beautiful Picked bowl there. line perfect. Yeah. Line and weight. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Couldn't have played it any better, my friend. So John with his next bowl, just got to try and sit inside or maybe even make contact with the kitty, drag it to his own. This guy. He's not far away. Coming home. <laughs> found the oh, hole. Yeah. Gee whiz. Very that's, what, that's what happens when you're a state selector. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens, mate. <laughs> but, uh, he just, just ran through there, and he has been leading up very well in this yeah. tournament. I've watched him a few times, and he's been, uh, he has been playing some absolutely tremendous bowls. As we see Matty Bell with his first bowl. Matty just looks as though he's going to cover these two bowls out here, John. Yeah, showing his experience. Like, got two shots. There's no need to yeah. fatten the head. I'll just play a covering bowl here. Common sense. Yeah. Good call. There again, you can see that uh, Matt of late has been, he's gone from, he's always had huge success with the Helensvale Bowl Club when he was playing lead, played in many state championships and various things with some great players, but been skipping in the reserve grade team now and it's showing that he's, uh, he's really... Uh, versatility. Versatility, where he's also covering bowls. So. <coughs> hmm. Jake, had, Jake had an opportunity, but just... Yeah, just fell weight. short. Young man started the game very, very well. Young Jake, again, another one of our rising stars and still only a young man also. I think he's, he's actually seven, 16, isn't he? Yes, I, I think he may have turned seven. I think I saw him with his pea plates. Well, did, he, did he have... Uh, so he must be 17 now, I he think. Had a, did he have his birthday the other day? Same yeah. day, same time as young, as uh, young Kane. Kane. I think he, I saw him with pea plates, if I remember correctly. Could be corrected on you that. Have, if that's the case, do you have to put the, get peas put on your bowls? <laughs> Mate, I've got to have Earl's put on my balls <laughs> these days, John. <laughs> so, so Jake had a beautiful line on that one there, just a little bit overweight. But again, if they happen to get this kitty, a bulk could come into the count. Actually, in fact, I've got to get some... I've got to get some R's. <laughs> some R's, mate. R's and stamp on the balls. I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> uh, there we see a lovely line on this one here by Trenton Healy. He's not going to be too far away. Again, he probably yeah, just yeah. closed that hole there for him too, so may have to be a little bit more at it now by the looks of it, so makes it very hard. But you see this uh, Scotty yeah, McLaughlin led a co combination. You can see, you can as you said, the way they're combining so well, John, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, that's a, that's, Being a, that's, able a, that's a good call because uh, playing the backhand in, coming off the inside edge of the white bowl, yep. of trench bowl. He's not far away. Bodies. He's on target here. Uh, well, well, yes. Johnny there's, there's more than one way to get shot, my friends. <laughs> Many one. More than one way to get shot. Different way of skinning a cat. Cat, yes. And that's uh, that really. He had good weight to get a result. Well, it was a good that. call. Yes. It was a good call. <clears throat> but that's the fortune of thing of bowls. Yep. So Trenton Healy just a little bit under with that one. Probably only one shot, but uh, Kane now got the opportunity to add to it. It's like it's Jake. It's, it's Jake's bowl, I think, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yep, it's Jake's bowl. Um, no, it's not. It's not Jake's bowl. Is that? No, it's not. It's a short one. There's one over yeah, there. It's yeah, that one over there. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's his. Kane got it. Don't think he's got the weight. Gee, he <coughs> had a beautiful line to come in there. I see Ch uh, Kane's changed his bowls. He's gone. Yes, he has been using. Oh, he has been using. Um, oh, that's good. Yeah. 
Oh, OK. <laughs> he has been using these bowls on and off for a while now. Because mm. he normally plays with the arrows. Yes. With the tricolours. Yes. Yes, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, the sunshine colours. Yes. Sunshine tricolours. That's correct. He's, he's been using these for a few weeks now. He's, and I must admit, I've seen him play a few games with them. And um, he's been playing some great bowls, mate. I'm saying. You're dead right, John Fleming. They are on fire, mate. So, Scotty, just a bit wide with that one. So, Jacob, now I've got to be told to came. Well, you called me on this shot, so uh, let's see you play it. Uh, playing his forehand, just got to sit inside this bowl. Not going to be too far away. Geez, a young man, how well has oh, he played this? Look, look at this, this for a bowl. Look at that. Oh, he wouldn't be happy with that. He would not be happy with that. That is a good, bad ball. That is a good, bad ball. Given Scotty the opportunity for the split, he's going to no, get something too. He's going to get nothing. Nothing. Just missed it. Gee whiz, I thought it was going to come back in there nicely. Good afternoon, Paul Wilson. How are you, my friend? It is a good, ball, a good bad ball too, because that's the fact he's fat in the target up yeah, quite, here, yeah. quite large. And that's one thing that a lot of the viewers particularly newer players might not understand because they see a bowl there coming to the kitty so close and they say what do you mean a good bad bowl but exactly what you said John it fattens the target mm. and gives the opposition skip the opportunity yeah. to convert it's got a two bowl target yeah two bowl target so as I said it was a good bowl but a bad bowl so uh, I know for a lot of lay people wouldn't understand that so it's yeah. Jacob shaking even his he, head on this one just cut, I don't know the, yeah. Yeah. He had a free shot there too. Quite he like. did, yes. yep. Two shots to the Jacob Nelson-led so uh, combination. So they've opened their uh, their account for this game. 18 ends. So it's going to be a colossal game. So, so Johnny Neal, it'll be interesting to see what length uh, Jacob plays on this. So it be very interesting to see. I think he's calling for a full length by the looks of it. No, I'm sorry, that was a bad sorry call. Sorry about my phone ringing there, folks, but I'm getting so few phone calls from overseas. Good one. In their scam. Good one. <laughs> Absolutely annoying. Ah, yes. We seem to all get them. Ah. G'day, Bob, Bob McNally. How are you, my friend? Hope to see you out here soon, mate, when, the, when uh, they open the borders. They can get out of New Zealand. A uh, good starter there by John, just Jack High. That's not a bad cider. So he's got Burmo with his first bowl, sticking to the same hand. Why wouldn't he? He's been playing exceptionally well. Very steady lead. He's not going to be far away. He just run out of a bit of legs, that's all. So John just got to change his line. Oh, he's pointing out there. He said, I've underdone that one, unfortunately. Doesn't want to touch it. He had good weight on that too. Look at his weight. Absolutely magnificent. So Burmo with his next bowl. He's got it out there a little bit wider. He's got to increase his weight slightly too. I tell you what, he's going to be in the air. He's not going to be too far away. Yeah, lovely correction there by Mark Birmingham. That's a great bowl. G'day, Eddie King. 32 degrees down Port Macquarie, mate. So Jake Wren with his first bowl. It's not going to be too far away. Got a nice line on it. Coming home nicely. Coming home very nicely. nicely. Around the back. Yeah, great bowl, Jake. It bowl falls of, over. Pretty bowl toast. Bowl of a champion. Yeah, there you go. Thanks very much for that, Glenn. I didn't realise that. Mike Birmingham won the ACT singles title a few years ago. Okay. Ne never knew that. So thank you very much for that. G'day, Dan Wellis. How are you, mate? Good to have you on board. How you been, buddy? Uh, Matty Bell just going to drop under the line with that one. But uh, Matty is always never far away. I'm sure you're correct with his next one. So uh, Jake just asked, J Jacob just asked Jake to change to his uh, forehand. Evening, Cam McClellan, wherever you are. Ah, yeah, Cam, obviously, one obviously. of our locals that we have all the time, mate. Great bloke. You pronounced oh, look his. At, look at that. Look at that for a bowl. Change his hand. Look Change at his that. hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, Cam's one of the gentlemen you were talking to yesterday from that unusual 
place in Canada, which is very oh, hard to pronounce. Saskatchewan. <laughs> Saskatchewan, that's yep. the one. Saskatchewan. Yeah, yeah no, that's right. Mate, one of our locals, uh, mm. regulars, I should say, not locals, but uh, see Matty Bell, Matty not far Bell away. Matty Bell just snuck. Oh. Gee whiz, what a pole. Wasn't too far away. Gee, Gee whiz. Yeah, good to have you on board, Kent. Aren't, aren't you people with, pleased we've got this game on this rink? <laughs> yes. No, it's a cracking game, mate. Look at the heads changing all the time. 18 ends of this caliber of bowling. Yeah, Kane just going to cut his line there a little bit. Yeah, just needed a little bit more weight. So Trenton Healy with his first bowl, playing his forehand, because uh, I'll let you know now too, uh, Glenn uh, Trenton, of course, came from the ACT, he and his lovely wife, uh, Jeanette. Uh, great bowl here by Trenton. Oh, just... Just a little bit just weighty. A, just, just a slight a movement there with the wind. wind. That's all it was. It was if you can see. Yeah, just yes. a slight movement. Because the, the wind has, pick, has picked up. G'day, Mark. How you going, buddy? Don't want to talk. Yeah, just going to crash no, into that no, one. No, Good no. afternoon, Mr. Stewart. I hope you finished the painting. So uh, Trenton wasn't too far away of his first bowl. Of course, as I said, Trenton and his lovely wife both came from the ACT. Trenton and uh, Jeanette. A bit wide with that one. It comes around the back though. His skip won't be very, very disappointed. Won't be disappointed in that. Looks as though it's given him pretty much, oh, not quite best backward, but uh, pretty close to it. So we've got you guys booked in for next year. Mate, we'd love to come back, mate. Right. Had a great weekend this weekend. Can be arranged, Robbie, I think. Put her on the calendar, buddy. <laughs> Put her on the calendar. Yeah, we'll be back, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure Show, bringing you this. A showcase of bowls. Look. Bringing you this great event. It's been absolutely fantastic. Now, Jacob just splitting these two here, which is a very handy bowl. Yeah, it's good to see the young man thinking. So it's got him at Lachlan, got to play really the perfect bowl. Yeah, you did, right, Anthony. The champion champion of Queensland's killing it. You're not far away from that comment, mate. I'll tell you what, though, so is this bloke here, too. He's not going to be far away. He's bowl working into the head now. He's going to sit this bowl. Just needs a little bit more run. Oh, just around the back. What a great try, though. Gee whiz. When you look at the head like that, it's pretty yeah. hard to get into. Yeah. To come around those ones and sit in there, gee whiz, that's, uh, that's really Looks showcasing what? their skills. Look at this young fella. Yeah, he's not far look away. Look at this, bowlers. Look at this. What a crow! Oh, what a great bowl. Head keeps changing at all times. That's why he's in the top ten in Australia. Yes. <laughs> in fact, I may be wrong. It might be the top five. Yeah, I think he's in the. I think both of them. Uh, yeah. Kane is Kane still number one, or he might be number no, two I now. No, I think uh, Nick Young Nick's is the one. I think number one in Queensland. I think the yeah. other two lads here, are, they could be in the top five as well. One thing for I've, Queensland. One thing I've said numerous times, John on air of late, I said uh, when Kane first started playing bowls, he was Jacob Nelson's brother. <laughs> now Jacob Nelson's Kane Nelson's brother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and their father, their father, oh, Greg. Greg. Greg's a lovely bloke, mate. Yeah. He was down the actual fact. He, he was actually great entered bloke. to play in this. Yeah, mate, great family. But he apparently worked. Great family, mate. Absolutely great family. See, Scotty just got to make contact with any of these bowls. Oh, he just got the wrong one. And he's, of course, Probably their mother. Three, three shots? Three thrusts, is yeah, it? Yeah, it looks that way, mate. It looks as though, as I said, their lovely mother, who uh, last weekend at the Champion Champions turned up with a uh, lovely plate full of home-cooked shortbread that morning for us. Oh. So you too can look like this. All you've got to do is follow me around commentating. <laughs> I thought we provided some of that this afternoon for you. Oh, you did. <laughs> but no, I had, a, I had a, absolutely, as I said, what a family. Not only can they play bowls, but, geez, they've got a mother can cook too. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. Hey, Robbie, you got something to eat? <laughs> you did. You got a biscuit? Yeah, I left him a biscuit. What an Ar Arnott, Arnott's ginger, ginger biscuit, was it? He loved it. So a nice starter here by John Newell too. Just going to sit him behind the head. Not That's where it starts. Away. He's starting now to put the, put the pressure on to uh, Scotty Birmingham. Yep. And I'll tell you what, uh, Mike, is he's one bloke, he really relishes a challenge. Hmm. And it doesn't surprise me that he has won the singles title 
because he's such a good lead. Yeah, brilliant. And most leads are normally pretty handy single players as a rule, John. I mean, even Robbie Allen plays lead. Yes. Yes, and he, I think he's won a single title once or twice too. Just don't know where. Would have been in New Zealand. Win a carnival over in Suva. Suva. Jesus. And you lived. Jeez, I got beaten by Babu Khan over there. I was nearly at him. I was just about to beat him, and I thought I was going to be beheaded. So hopped in the car and drove home. <laughs> two very good bowls. Two yeah, good two leads. great yeah. bowls by Mike Birmingham. <coughs> I must admit, that was a wonderful tournament too, that tournament over in Suva. So you see Jake Wren, of course. Just got, to, just got to lean on one of them. He can get it off that back bowl, really, if he sits and stays, mm -hmm. or he can draw it cold. And he's just pulling up there again. When you're concentrating on your weight and your grass, sometimes out of 10, your weight just suffers. Playing a, very, playing a short end here. Yep. So we see Matty Bell... And he bowls. Looks like he's going to just playing a positional bowl here, and this is the advantage, John. Because they've got two shots. They've, oh, got, they've got two shots. This is the advantage that Scotty's got at the moment mm. because Mike is giving him good bowls in the head, mate, isn't he? You yes. Know what I mean? Yeah. Giving him really good bowls in the head. They've got two shots. These other guys, are, the uh, the yep. Nelson team, have, have got to get shots. Got to get shots. Yep. Now it's becoming a little bit harder because that yellow bowl now of uh, Matty Bowles has just made that a little bit more difficult to get round. Well, Jake's happy with this one because he knows it's coming around the back. There, once again, just conscious of the fact that he had to reach the head, which is very easy Still to do. Still a good home. Very good home from there. So tell us who you're barracking for. So we see another nice-looking bowl coming in here from Matty Bell. Gee whiz, he's a consistent player, isn't he? Look at that for a bowl. <laughs> Matty Bell, a legend. <laughs> he is too, mate. He's one of nature's gentlemen too. Vicky Lee Ma Maxwell, yes, thanks for the compliments. <laughs> a nice club, Vicky. It is a brilliant club. Yeah, couldn't Great agree Great surrounds. More. We're exposed to a little bit of wind at the moment. <laughs> a bit of an open up there. So Cam sent us a weather report. He said it's minus eight over there today. <laughs> It's warming up, Cam, because the other day it was minus 15, mate. So, hey. <laughs> How good's that? G'day, Bev. Hope you, yes, it is great bowls, too. What, isn't part, it? Of the, what part of the NZ, Bev? So, Trenton Healy just coming around the back yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to cover the tee. Well, that's the important thing. Uh, when you're playing this type of game on oh, a short yes. end like this, yes. you've got to make sure you've got to cover that. Yeah. Waste, waste the bowl onto the tee. Tell you what, Kane's not far away oh, with this How's one. this for a shot, folks? Well, he's really, he's really open up. Open it up and possibly it may, may, may maybe, have the shot. May have shot. May have shot. Uh, yeah. Would have shot, looks yeah. at that, yes. Look, yeah. It's definitely there. Yeah. G'day, David Barr. This is Team Nelson. Let's go, boys. Good on you, mate. Good to see who you're barracking for. So Trenton Healy with his first bowl. He's not going to be no. too far away. He's egging it on. Probably just pulled up a little you bit can short. Your so. arms as much as you like, but it's not going to make any difference. <laughs> yes, it's ever so true. If you really feel that way inclined, come down and give it a kick. You'll only lose eight shots, but besides that, it's all good. <laughs> You must be up, Faye, yes, but they were trying. Yeah, ever so true, Faye. So Jacob just got to come round this one. He's, he wants to start that bowl to start sneaking now. He doesn't want to touch it. He's not going to be too far away, though. Well, yes. I think Jake put his hand up for two. Two, I think, I think he did by the looks yeah. of it. This bloke here has been in fine form all weekend. He's putting he's got, it out, and he, the thing is, he's giving it a chance. He's got very good bowl. Look at it. Look at that. A great bowl by Scotty McLaughlin. That's what happens when you take grass. Yep. One down, Kane says. That's the bowl you've got to beat, brother. Basically, he says to his brother, you want to go last, you fix it. Yeah. 
Inside edge. Not to happen. No, just didn't have the weight to achieve what he was after there, really. And Scotty's got a bit of a uh, open draw on here. After he played that first bowl so well, too, you'd back him into a draw, another one in here, too, John. Hmm. He's Actually, uh, young, young Jacob had an opportunity to play that on the forehand. Yes, he did do, too. He did. He, could. he did have, too. A little bit more thought. Yep. I know it's... it's it's fine talking after the fact. Well, the best part about it here, Scotty, even he's on to Trenton's bowl. Oh, he had to be anything but short, really, didn't he? Because even he could have got a result off that. Uh, mm, interesting. Yeah, just the one down. One, one down. G'day, Dean McWinnie. How are you, my friend? Good to have you on board, Dana. Actually, wouldn't it be great if we had the McWinnie brothers up here? Mate, they'd go very well up here, mate. I reckon they would. Wonderful tournament. I did speak to them, uh, I speak to uh, Mother. Yes. La not the yeah, last year, as a matter of fact. Yep. And she said, well, try and arrange it. But I, I understand they've got to work and what. Yes. they've got uh, greens to look after and everything. But Certainly gee, have. Dean, having young De having Dean and, uh, Dale. and Dale here. Uh, both fine young players, yeah, mate. Two fine. Yeah, their record stands for... Stands pretty high. Couldn't agree more, mate. Yeah. They, both of them are very, uh, very capable players, mate. That is for sure. Dale's a very good commentary on the. He's very good on the commentary. Yeah, we like getting both of them on board, mate, yeah. when you get the opportunity. So, uh, Dino, if you're uh, interested, you know where I am. Yeah, we just see that just pulling up there, <coughs> which is very unusual. <laughs> good day, John. Yeah, they need Chile, you reckon, mate? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right on their journey. Yeah. It's nearly uh, nearly a home game for Shiloh these days, mate. Then he's doing a fair bit of work at Kiwana. Uh, yes, you're dead right, Paul. These boys are top-notch, mate, and that's why they put this game on, my friend. See a nice starter here by Johnny Newell, weight-wise. Just needs a little bit more grass, but his weight's pretty well spot on. Is it just a little bit off target, <laughs> uh, Johnny? I was just wondering... The doge? Just wondering... The, the doge... I was just wondering, I said, sometimes I've noticed if they come off... Yes, they have. See, they come off the back green. I notice it just takes them a few ends to adjust to... The, yeah. Not so much the pace of the green or anything, John, but the wind channels. Well, the wind, cha the the wind, wind channels channel is what they're suffering with. The wind channel on this green is totally different to the one the over one the One over back. there. Yeah, yeah, totally different. Mainly because of the buildings and the sheds. Well, they're playing the other... And th th this game is playing north-south. South, that's correct. And the other game's played like east-west. East -west. East but I've noticed every team that's come over from the back green over it's taken a few ends to adjust you see not a bad adjustment here with his grass line here like he's a more yeah, than capable yeah. lead he's been playing great bowls of late Johnny Newell that's a and good bowl very yeah. good bowl there good bowl by Lejo and one thing too like one thing too you're saying before too John uh, which I've absolutely endorsed your comments regarding how the elite players or I call them elite players we see a nice looking bowl here from Matty Bell too he's not going to be too far away from this Just just going to sneak around the back. Through the uh, keeper. The, the way the amount of time and the, uh, they put into young Cooper over the last few days, encouraging him, helping yes, him yes. out, doing things. And, and um, Johnny Newell took off his UBC top and gave it to young Cooper the other day. All oh, right. On yeah. his way out the door, young Cooper was here having a chin wag yeah, to right us. Yeah, right That's good. And Johnny whipped off the shirt. And, and uh, the only oh. person I saw get excited about that, mate, was young Jess, who was in the bowl shop when Johnny whipped off his shirt. Uh, yeah, see the excitement whip up on her face. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. Mate. We'll, no. we'll keep. No. <laughs> no. you got a lot to learn, girl. <laughs> <laughs> see a lovely correction here from Maddie Burr. Look at that for uh, the art of... Uh, the art of bowls. The art of bowls, mate. So we see the Doge walking past at the moment, striding oh. past... Homero Maldonado, all the way from Argentina, I think, Argentina, by the sound of that. Yes. You've Didn't I say that nicely? You did say it very nicely, mate. <laughs> you pronounced it very, very well too, mate. <laughs> you pronounced, pronounced it very well. Not bad for a Kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, see ya. Good call there, boy. Uh, and again, again, I can't emphasise more. For cover. They're going for cover because of their team, mm. who Burmo for once, did
didn't sniff around it, but Matty Bell did. This is why I say the combination of this team, how well they're gelling with each other. I think they got that bowl back. In actual fact, they uh, crashed. They <laughs> crashed into one of the, <laughs> the players walking up on the uh, previous on their next rink. Rink, yes. Yeah. So, so this is a just a point on this one too. Yeah. You know, Players, when they're walking up from end to end, yes. they tend to walk out on the playing line. Yes. What they should be doing is playing, walking right up the middle, middle up the right. centre line, and they're, they're not affecting the playing line. One of my pet hates is that. Yes. Yeah. Is it? Big. And it's a thing that's never taught. Yes, and that's true. But I think you'll find, though, not saying, taking anything away, because I know what a great job our <laughs> coaching committee does do, but years and years ago, like when you and I started playing bowls, Coaches not only coached them how to play bowls, but they also showed the individual player in the club coach, that is, where they write their names down for games, where they get the match and jacks from. Yes. Taught them the whole box and dice. Um, the ethics of the game. game. The ethics of the game. Where this day and age, I said the coaches, I'd never knock at coaches for bowls at Queensland because they do an absolute superb yeah. job as club coaches do. They try their guts out, so I'd never knock anyone that puts their hand up to have a go. But I just think that that part of the aspect of the etiquette of the game is diminished over a period of time. I think it's yeah, and that's I think it starts from the uh, I just I want to go and play bowls, get into the game. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, just not, not learning the basics. Yes. Or put it this way, not being taught taught the basics. The basics yes. So Trenton Healy just pulling yep. up a little bit short on that one there. He had a good line for what he was after. He just had to sneak around those bowls. He just caught the edge of it, which took the pace off. Now anything can happen here? Oh, he's always oh, yes. He's, he's opened it he's, up. No, he's not. He's moved the kitty. He's moved the kitty. He's got shot out of it. He's, he's opened yes, it up completely yeah, for yeah, his Johnny, brother. Johnny Newell, the orange bowl is shot. He's shot. He just got the edge of the kitty. Of the jack, kitty, whatever. <laughs> Bev, I know you'll still be here at the end of the game, my dear. You've been watching all weekend, love, and been enjoying the telecast. Got to go back to work. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people saying that there's been no housework done at their place this weekend, John. One last just come back from cooking. She said, "What hmm. food's on? Time to sit down and watch bowls again now." Yeah. So we see Scotty McLaughlin got a nice line on this. So I tell you, he's not going to be too far away. He's bowl working nicely in the head. Look at this for a bowl. What a great bowl, Scotty McLaughlin. Gee whiz. That's bowls, folks. That's bowls. That is, look at it. That is just a that's, you know, master class. Jacob looking at his brother Kane says, what do I do? Well, young Jake's measuring there to see who's got the back bowl. Who's going to have the back bowl? Who's got yeah, closest to it the It wouldn't tee. surprise me if I don't see young Jacob attack yes. that yellow bowl. Wouldn't G'day, Jeanette Healy. Good to have you on board. I thought you may be watching. Wouldn't surprise me to see an upshot here. Yeah. Take the three of them out. Then he moved the kitty back. Yep. Or, or, or if it's killed. Tell you what, he's not far away. Oh, just starting to work now. Well, that would hurt. It was a... It was, it was a the, the percentage shot. shot. Yep, but that hurt. No. Yes, he has. It hurt him because he's now three down. He's now three down, yeah. yes. And that's, oh, and that's the problem by having one bowl in the head. I think Trenton's got... <coughs> I'd say he's probably got the tee cover too, just quietly. With that white bowl, be be pretty mm -hmm. close. And Scotty's going to... Uh, not going to be too far away. Just the result sheet. Just lost the name. Just lost the name. That's cool. I called yeah. Birmingham. Yeah. Scotty before. It's Mike Birmingham. Sorry, sorry, uh, Mike. Yeah. Well, it's still the shot hasn't changed. No, he's still got to play the same shot, yeah. really. Yeah. He, he You've got to make contact with that yellow bar. Yes. He's but close. More pace here, more pace. He's right. cut. Oh, yeah. that's going to hurt. That's three. Three. Yep. And that, again, is the wind. See the way the wind's really mm -hmm. gusting? And that just, yep, 
made the difference. Well, that's an end. But it was a gives them three shots and an end. But there again, as we said, like one one end there, Mike Birmingham wasn't there, but yeah, Matty Bell, Matty Bell shot. And yeah. that's where they're backing said, each other up. They're backing each other up. That's what fours is all about, isn't it? G'day, Lynn Jeffrey. How are you? Is that Lynn or is that Maxi? I think it'd be Lynn. Maxie's probably out coaching someone, <laughs> knowing Max. Lynn. <laughs> Good afternoon, Lynn. Good to hear from you. I haven't spoken to you for some time, but uh, lovely welcome lady. to the viewing. Yes, yeah, she's lovely, a, lovely yes, lady, mate. Had some great talks with her at the Tweed Ears. Yes, yeah, Maxie's a top guy yeah, too, Max, mate. Uh, so Mike's not happy with himself. He's doing himself. Uh, Hitting his fingers, he's not too happy. So no, it's doing not a good himself. bowl there. He knew straight away when that left his hand. He doing a bit of a harker. Yep. <laughs> Johnny Newell, Dojo, right on line. Yeah, great bowl there. Good bowl, there. Dojo. Great bowl there by young Johnny. Cool, look at that. Yep. <laughs> so a lovely reply there too by Mike uh, John sitting just in behind the head so any movement now of that uh, yeah, orange bowl touches the white thing case straight back to uh, a good bowl here from Dave to Mike's last bowl mate good bowl here from Dave would be a very good one on the line and behind. In but behind the head. He's just dropped his weight yes, slightly. Yeah. Well, not his weight, I should say. His yeah. weight really isn't too bad. He actually dropped his... Uh, line. Max and Lynn, good on you. <laughs> Thought you'd be out coaching someone, Max. You do a great job, mate. So, Matty Bowl with his first he bowl. You should, should be bowling, Max. Uh, great Leave bowl. the housework to Lynn. <laughs> uh, yeah, another great bowl by Matt. Uh, and again, it's only a one bowl target. Exactly. Which is the most important thing. He just sprung it just enough. Yep. Uh, what a great game we've uh, got on here, uh, John, as we're coming down towards the middle part of the game. I think the business end of the game should be absolutely sensational. If you've just tuned in, folks, this game is the, the two team, between the two teams that are finishing one and two, two on the ladder. In the carnival. So the winner of this <laughs> what a great, will win the carnival. What a great bowl by Jake Wren there. Yep. Gee whiz, you couldn't ask for better, could you? When I say will win it, unless some other team comes over top of them. But yeah. It would be hard to see it happen. Hey, uh, Matty, just unusual. Yes, just yeah, lost a bit of concentration yeah, yeah. there. Yes, the centre shot here, Jake. Get round the back. Yeah, lovely bowl there by young Jake Rennie's last one. Yeah, Got a good grass line on this one too, as the call really was coming around the back. Don't really want to fatten the head. Tell you what, he hasn't played it too bad though, just quietly. Oh, what a bowl. Ooh. He has fattened it though, unfortunately. What First thing Scotty said, <laughs> hit it. <laughs> you got three to hit. Hit anything. Uh, well, Trenton's in the area. Oh. He's going to get something. Maybe Matty's bowl. Well, he's scattered them. A great bowl there. We only the one. Yes, uh, we've had a talk to him, Ethan, but it's a big game, mate, so we, we leave him alone after that, mate. We send Robbie out every now and again to hit him with a lump of 4B2 to remind him, mate, but no, all good, my friend. That's a bit harsh word, Jason, Mr. Kiwiti, but you might be right. <laughs> he has too, Jason. He has been playing very well, mate, I'm telling you. Oh, I've read it wrong. I'm sorry, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cam's comment there. Cam's made a call here, mate. He said, uh, early decision for me, shovel snow or watch, watch bowls. bowls. Snow will disappear in March or April. <laughs> 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 good on you, Cam. Love the banner, mate. Just love the banner with you. It's all good fun, mate. 
Okay, well, there you go, Max. I guarantee you, mate, you could probably find a spot if you talk to them, the man sitting beside me. Says, uh, great tournament, John. Well done, and would love to play in it. So well, there. Max, it's, it's in your hands. You know where I am. Chuck me an email. Hello, Robbie Allen's in trouble. Julie Allen is watching. Mother of Tony. There's no promises, Max, on it, but we can always look at it. Good-looking line here from Scott. I think he might be just a little bit underdone weight-wise. He could get it off this one, but he's yeah. just going to hit that one too fat. He's made it, give so, himself yeah. a very good second and third shot there, though. Team Nelson's still holding shot with the blue. The shake, oh, I tell you what, though, that, ha bowl. that head remains the way it is, though, John. Don't be yeah. at all surprised if Scotty McLaughlin attacks with his next bowl. Well done, yes, for sure. That bowl there sitting probably jack level. So really, as long as he's uh, chasing the bowl, got a good chance of sitting and staying. That because you're not going huge weight. You're only playing just through the head to, to sit that you are. two just or three a, times just a and stay. And he's picked up a... So really, it's up to Jacob here to change the head slightly. Might be a slightly underlined head, Jacob. Well, let's see if I made it a little bit better. For, I think I'm making an easier decision for Scott what bowl he's going to play. He just got that on the wrong side. If he got it on the inside, he may have come in for second shot maybe taking that shot away and that's the difference when you're playing at this level like I mean people say oh that's a bad bowl but that was only probably around a quarter of an inch off yeah, being a exactly. perfect bowl yeah and this is um, this is why it's such a great game isn't it but anyway we'll see what type of a shot um, Scotty plays he's going to try and sit it out his forehand which really isn't a bad call he doesn't really want his own bowl because... doesn't want any movement of that kitty either, just quite No, because if it goes out the right-hand side, he could be in big trouble. But I tell you what, this man's not far away. He's playing with a lot of confidence. Look at this for a bowl. Gee whiz, what a great shot. Well, I think everybody, you can nominate a shot here. <laughs> not too hard to work this one out. Yes, what a great bowl there by, uh, by Scott in McLaughlin, though. Brilliant. Beautiful weight. Weight control first class. Yep. Weight control Play, first off. Played with confidence. Absolutely. Yeah. So. McLaughlin lying three. Oh, he's only got one of them. Surprised he paid with that weight. At any rate, he played it. Yep. <coughs> now I might uh, see if our Lord Mayor of the yep. local regional council has turned up. If he's here, we'll bring him over and we'll put mm -hmm. him on. But okay. we might get Jess up and do a bit of a uh, bit of talking for us. Uh, Jess has got a friend, so yep. I'll, no I'll, I'll also see if if Pat Walsh is about. Yeah, if Pat's here. We'll do an interview. Thanks very much, John. Thank very much for your input, mate. It's fantastic, mate. I love your uh, and input but, uh, and your knowledge of this. And by the way, game. may I say on behalf of Pyabal Bowls Club and the region of Fraser Coast, thank you very, very much, to, uh, Team Gold Coast, for coming up and doing the live streaming. I may not get an opportunity to come back to, again because I'll be mate, tied up with yeah, the administration. But may I say thank you very, very much for making coming up and making yourselves available. It has put bowls for the Fraser Coast in the area on the map, and it, that I duly appreciate, as do all the people of Harvey Bay. Mate, Thank appreciate the invitation, John. It's been an absolute delight being here, and uh, congratulations on such a great run tournament, my friend. Thank so you very much, I Brian. know you've got duties to do, so thank you very much for your input, mate. No, we'll see you at the presentation table. For sure. Thank okay. You. Thank, thank you, you very much, mate. Thank you. So we see another good park bowl there by Mark Birmingham. Not really uh, what he was after, but it's still a very workable bowl. It's still on the run, so it's uh, very easy to be able to use. G'day, Damien Sparks. How you going, mate? Who are you playing with these days, my friend? So, Matty Bell's playing the back end. Uh, maybe just a little bit wide with this one, though. Yeah, just a little bit wide, just got a bit of a freeze there, so. <laughs> so 
So Jake with his next first bowl. Got a bit of an open draw down here, so. He's just got to drop under that. Really had to be around it. Just the one down. I just saw Jacob's finger go just the one down. Algester, good on you, Damien. Yeah, good club, mate. You'll go well there. Hope you're enjoying your bowls, buddy. How's your dad going, mate? You're a good lad. Um, uh, Matty Bell just running through slightly there with that one. Good day, Cole Hayes and Diane Lanham. Good to have you on board, Diane. So we see Jake. Got a good line on this one here. Just got to work back into the head. Just going to hang out there a little bit wide. Yes, good weight he had on that though. Just uh, both his bowls had excellent weight once again. So Trenton Healy got the opportunity here to uh, just draw one down under there. Could be a bit wide with this one though, Trenton. He just seemed to step out to the left slightly. Uh, Kane now looking to dead draw. Uh, got a nice line on this one, John Kane. Just got to drop under these ones, which it looks as though he's going to achieve. Yeah, that's a great bowl there by the young man. Yeah, great bowl. The shot. Uh, he played that very, very well. His weight control was absolutely... Hey, <laughs> good on you, mate. Good to see that Al Jester too, bud. Hope you have a game with him every now and again, mate. 82, he's going great guns, mate. Yeah, well, he's just uh, made the call. He said it's still there. He's just under that last one, so got the opportunity. Again, he's got a good line on it too. How's his weight? Bowl's starting to work in nicely now. He's not going to be too far away. That's two great bowls there by young Kane Nelson. He touched the kitty. He just touched the kitty too. But, oh, geez. So I think Scotty's eyes would light up with that one now too. Got the opportunity, the split or getting rid of both of them. But uh, it goes for the kill. Is our sponsors of this great event. The 2020 Piaba Classic Men's Falls, proudly sponsored by Fraser, Coast Regional Council, Harvey Bay RSL Club, Church of Christ, Riviera Resort, Church of Christ Care, Fraser Coast Motor Centre, Clayton Hearing and BCIB Insurance Brokers. Great sponsors who support our great game. So Scotty's got the opportunity of doing the split here. And I'll tell you what, he's not far away. He's got a good looking bowl here. One, two. Oh, what a great bowl. Gee whiz, he played that with incredible weight. That's a uh, absolute class bowl there because that could have gone horribly wrong and he just played it with, with the correct weight to get the result that was required. Now, Jacob really has got to uh, come around and just sit that purple bowl for another shot, but he's a little bit wide with this one, but he's quite... Gets an inside edge. No, he's not going to get the edge. Geez, he had a perfect line for what he's after, too. Yep, yep. Twice a good call there by Trenton Healy. Tell you what, the way Scotty's playing, he, he's just going to duck under this one, though. He, was, he had perfect weight for what he was after, too, because Trenton said, you roll that twice, we've got a couple of shots, so uh, not far away. So Jacob with his next bowl. Guys. It's an inside edge. Oh, they backed it in all the way, but I don't think it's good enough. Not too sure. So the score's going to go up in a sec. We're just double-checking something. Nine, nine, five is the score. 
Nine five is the score. You had it preempted. How come it's been up there for five ends? <laughs> uh, you've done well, mate. Ever so true, Bev. Where would we be? Lennis, you ever so true. It is great bowls. Certainly is. We see Johnny Newell playing his first bowl. A good uh, three-quarter length, taking the basically full length. They've taken the mat right back. The kitty not far from the two. So a light starter there by John, just running through the head slightly. But once again, had a good line for what he was after. Just uh, anything in behind the head, very beneficial. Probably just ran through a little bit too far, but... Still very workable bowl. Sue McKenzie. G'day, Susie. How are you, my dear? Thank God you're on board. I've missed picking on you, love. Hope all keeping well and safe and enjoying your bowl, Sue, as always. Hey, we see John with his second bowl. Just got to correct his weight. Again, he's got it out there on a beautiful line. Starting to work into their head now. He's not going to be too far away. That's a lovely correction there by John Newell. Yeah, it's not too far away at all. So, Mike Birmingham. His second bowl, I tell you what, he's got a lovely line on this. He's not going to be too far away. Just going to pull up a bit short. Gee whiz, he had a beautiful line on that. So, Jake Rins. Just got to come around. Doesn't matter what hand he plays. He's just got to come around those front bowls there of Burmos to get the result. And these, this hand's swooping. <laughs> Thank you very much for those kind words, Kerry. Hope the family's all well and uh, should be very excited about um, Jesse's spent at Perth and hope all goes well, mate. And uh, I know for a fact you'll make a wonderful, wonderful grandmother. And it's good to see Jaden here this weekend too. That seem to be going pretty well. Oh, hey, Matty Bell not going to be far away from this. He's got the kitty clean. What a great bowl by Matthew Bell. Gee whiz, that's, uh, that's a class bowl. I'll just... Um, because um, at this stage, Kerry, they're running fifth at this stage. Uh, Jaden, Clinton, Scotty and Nick on 10 points and 47 ends. And a couple of the top teams are playing each other this game. So who knows what could happen. So we see a nice bowl here from Jake Wren. Once again. Yep, two shots. That's Jake's first bowl there. Matthew was a bit unlucky. He trailed the kitty from one down to one down, but he played a great bowl. But the beauty about it, he's got a uh, another bowl in his hand, so anything can happen. A very experienced campaigner. A little bit wide with this one. Yeah, we've got some great matchups out there all over the park. Once again, if you're in the Fraser Coast region, there's... Uh, no excuse for you not to come down and see these true champions. You've got two full greens to uh, to watch. And uh, everywhere you look out there, the heads are just absolutely packed no matter where you look. Uh, we see Kane Nelson with his first bowl trying to draw it down here. Just trying to make contact, no doubt, with uh, Jake's. So or just sit in front of Kitty. He's played this very, very well, the young man. Yeah, so that's not going to fall over, but he's going to attack it before it falls. So Trenton Healy playing his backhand. So it looks as though they got the uh, kitty in the ditch by the looks of that. So Kane drawing to the ditch. Sorry, to the yellow 
Yeah, it's just in front of uh, Jake's left leg. Just in front of the yellow bowl there. And sitting right beside it. So that one goes for a swim, but uh, definitely Trenton did his... Uh, did the job with his first bowl, a magnificent bowl there by uh, young Trenton Healy. Put the kitty into the into the uh, into the ditch. G'day Fiona Hall, how are you, my dear? Hey David McCann. So we've got a great game on here. We've got a big bowl here from uh, young Jacob Nelson. Just got to look for second shot first up. It seems to be running a little bit too quick for that. Yep, just fell into the into the ditch. Uh, hey, Scotty with his first bowl. Just draw. He's just got to come around these front ones. He's really got. He's really got about fifteen foot to add to it. Yeah, it probably counts, believe it or not. That's probably, it could be pretty close to second shot. So Jacob got to come around them. Again, I think he's a bit too quick by the looks of this. Yep. So... Be a couple down by the looks of it. We'll know more shortly. So Scotty got ample room here to add to add to his uh, tally. Oh, he's not happy. He's just apologised to the boys. I wouldn't be sorry. I wouldn't be sorry uh, if I was you, my friend. You've played absolutely magnificent bowls here. No way in the world I'd be apologising, Scotty. He really has uh, excelled, in my personal opinion. Burmo thrown probably a, uh, yeah, pretty much a three-quarter length with a mat being look as though it's back a fair way, so. You know, playing his backhand. He's not far away once again. Leading very, very well. G'day, Wayne Wilson. How you going, buddy? See Johnny Newell playing his backhand too. Johnny, a very accomplished lead. Been playing great bowls for the Hamilton Power. This is their uh, games controller there. Does a great job. Very passionate about the power. And of course, next weekend, Hamilton have got their pairs on. Uh, powerhouse weekend. Should be... Uh, Got some great teams in that too, so it should be a fantastic weekend. So, Burma not far away either. What a great reply. But gee whiz, just caught that just on the wrong side. Gee whiz, that's a wonderful attempt there. Uh, Johnny with his next bowl, he's got plenty of room to sit those back to. Yeah, tell you what, he's not far away. He's played this very, very well once again, Johnny Newell. And what a great field he's got next weekend at Hamilton Power. Not only has he enticed the bowl shot there, he's also enticed Jesse to have a game, so it's a very powerful field. Uh, Matty Bell with his first bowls. Just had to sit those ones, but... Even though it's, he missed what he was after, he's actually come to an exceptionally good home because uh, that's the best backwards. So I'm, I'm sure Scotty McLaughlin wouldn't be um, too worried about that. It actually gives him options. Sorry, 
So Jake had good weight on that bowl. Probably looking, I think they're looking for a bit of cover there by the looks of it. It could be a bit dangerous if they do decide to attack this. I think Maddie's more than capable of drawing this off though. I wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be asking him to drive at the moment. His bowl starts working into the head now. Just going to be just through the head slightly. <laughs> it is great games, Hayden, that's for sure. So Jake with his second bowl, just got to sit these blue bowls just here at the back. Jacob likes this. Yes, just missed the kitty but come to a very good home. As they're all playing their backhand so that could end up being shot out there if they get too much of the kitty. Yeah, great try there by Trenton Healy. Uh, Kane Nelson with his first bowl sticking to his backhand. Yeah, tell you what, he's not too far away from this. All he's got to do is just beat these ones or he doesn't want to find the hole. Which he has found. But a good bowl there anyway. Come to a very good home. Good on you, Jeff. So Trenton Healy sticking to the back end. Just got to drop his grass line slightly. His weight was very, very well. He likes it. He's following it down. He's having a good look at it. Just not coming back far enough for him. Probably just his weight. Came back beautifully. Would have come back beautifully to the line, but just his weight was his problem there. They came with his next bowl. Not too far away at all to sit this pack. Yes. Well, that's probably made it a um, bit tougher there for um, Scotty McLaughlin because he's taken that from a two-bowl target sitting behind to just a one-bowl target just by moving that, and yet his bowl still counts. So that's a... Uh, Pretty good line as we're coming down to basically now what you classify as the business end of the game. The middle mark and coming down towards the business end. Tell you what, Scotty, not far away. Bowl working beautifully now. Just got the wrong edge of it, but he's actually made it better for himself. Made it better for himself. Is that uh, that two bowl to sit now? Jacob really should be looking just to trail the kitty. Probably end up with four or five shots out of it. He's got to change the head around though. You don't want to let Scotty have two attempts at this without changing the head slightly. Uh, very experienced campaigner, Scotty McLaughlin. It's Jacob, very, very experienced skip these days been skipping for a fair while now in division one as well as premier league so and, uh, his ability is absolutely outstanding actual fact on this rink here you see the future of queensland bowls yeah well he has changed the head slightly has probably given scotty the option to shoot that uh kitty out to his bowls though. He really um, wanted that bowl right in behind the kitty on the line. So is Scotty going to have a look at this by the looks of it? Oh, he could be a bit wide with this one. Bowl starting to come back now, but it could be a bit wide. He played that very well. Just got the end of it. Yeah, it is a good. Was a great head, mate, wasn't it? Eh? G'day, Christine Mousy. How are you, my dear? Great to have you on board. 
Uh, that was a great bowl there by Scotty McLaughlin. Ashley got that outside and got the lot. Uh, very well done. So Jacob's just got to sit this purple bowl or trial the kitty for a couple. So it's just the one to the Jacob Nelson lead combination. Um, well, Johnny Newell is uh, Russell. Just to let you know, Johnny Newell's um, he's over the hill, mate. <laughs> but uh, he's uh, the lead, of course. Johnny just rolled the kitty. Great bloke, mate. He's uh, not too sure what Johnny is. Probably be. Uh, Late 30s, early 40s, I guess, something around about that era, I assume. I never really asked Johnny's age. Uh, you've got Kane Nelson, who's playing three. He's um, just turned 17 years of age during the week. You've got uh, Jacob Nelson, the skip, his brother. He's 22 years of age. And you've got Jake Wren, who's the second in the team and the current Queensland singles champion of champions. See so a beautiful first up bowl there from Johnny Newell. Um, Jake Wren's, I think he's 17, 16 or 17 years of age. I think he's just turned 17. So uh, he may even still be 16. I'll be corrected on that, but uh, I can't remember if I saw him with his P's or his L's. I think it may have been his L's. So, but um, I'm sure I'll be corrected if I'm wrong, but still a very young man. And got a, as I've said, those three people there, the three names I just mentioned, really, quite realistically are the future of uh, Queensland bowls plus a few more out there too around about the same age we saw young Cooper Sutton in that last game a nine-year-old how good he was and uh, we've got some great juniors uh, progressing through our ranks so uh, great future for for Queensland I can assure you as I'm sure the other states are working hard on their development programs also but um, Queensland yeah Queensland's in very good hands with these young rising superstars of our great game. Not only are they fine bowlers, but they're uh, they're very very fine. Um, I just looked at that before, in actual fact, uh, Ray. He's hot off the press. Okay, I'll find out right now for you, um, Russell. How old's Johnny Newell? 41. I was close, Russell. I said late 30s or early 40s, mate. So 41. That comes straight from Johnny Newell. <laughs> straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> so there you go. We've got Johnny's A. So Ray, uh, sorry to get back to you. Um, I'll tell you right now. Nick is running fifth on 10 points plus 47 ends. Now, Nick, in this game... As Matty Bell just pulling up a bit short there. I'll just try and find who he's playing. Nick Carl is on rink 12. Playing against Mick Tobin from Bundaberg. And um, Mick Tobin at the moment is running 20th with three points and minus. Sorry, can't be minus. With three points and 35 ends. So quite realistically, with some of the top teams playing each other, if Nick has a good wind in this, he could quite realistically jump up the ladder a few places. So look, and all, some top teams playing each other, so too hard to pick at this stage. So we see a lovely bowl there from Jake Wren. Matty Bell with his second bowl, just going to run around the back. So he's got that in a very, very good catchment area if it stays on. It has stayed on, so sitting just on the edge of the ditch there. Uh, good bowl there by uh, by uh, Matt, where he can sit there. And we've got to kind of have another guest commentator here. She's wide awake. She had a big night last night, or what's she doing? See Kay Nelson. Good afternoon, Jess. Good afternoon, Brian. Great to have you back on board, my dear. Thanking you. And uh, how's the shop been going today? Still going good? Oh, terrific. It's fantastic. Good. 
So we see um, Trenton Healy just a little bit uh, short with that bowl, but his line was absolutely spot on. Just needs about another 10 foot of weight. Yeah, it's been a pretty good game, hasn't it, so far? I've uh, been watching it on the sideline. You have been. It's been yeah. uh, been a wonderful game. A uh, lot of class players out here and playing yeah. exceptional bowls. They're really showcasing their skills, but he's just got him a block on fire, kiddo. Oh, certainly is. But his team's playing well. They're combining yes. well, though, Jess, you know? Yes. They're combining very well, and it's uh, Trenton really needs a bowl in here. There'd be... Uh, at least five down here at this stage, so yeah, Trenton so got the opportunity. Playing on the forehand. And he's um, he's one of your club mates this year. He is, yes. So. He's just pulling up. May have cut the back one out. Who knows? But still too many bowls to play to worry about that at this stage. Indeed. Way too many bowls. So what's Maria got the kids doing today, kiddo? What's Mama doing? Oh, she was doing some painting and... <laughs> Sorry, Miller's just crawled between my legs. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's her dog, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we'll yes. just clarify that. This is a children's show. <laughs> that's her dog. Lovely little pug. But she, yeah, Riggers has got them doing some arts and crafts and then they were on the beach this morning collecting shells. Great stuff. So Tell you what, hasn't Jacob played this well? Oh. The inside of that comes Oh, what in. a bowl there. What a great bowl by Jacob Nelson. That is a lovely bowl. Well, this if they hold this, like if Scotty, hold this, Scotty McLaughlin's though, he's just on fire. He's just playing so well. A bit of pressure on him here, though, and I don't think his bowl is going to come back from there. Not his bowls. No. What's Scotty using? Brian? Pur purple ones. Purple? Purple okay. ones. Okay. Good stuff. That's very, a good start. Very, very, very good start. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's on the other page. <laughs> We've got that many pages here. <laughs> come back over here. We've got... Um, No, Robbie didn't write it down. Um, Robbie didn't write it down. The boss is letting us it's down. He's let us down. Dear, dear. Uh, nah, all good. We'll find out. Now, Jacob got another good line on this. If he's just got to get through he's this port. He's just got to get around it. Sneak past. He's just under it. No, he's unfortunate. But his first bowl, absolutely. They got the... Uh, Very good first bowl. He's yeah. got it in a handy spot there. Well, they're holding six shots there. So, no, if they hold this... Whole new ball game, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Complete I just, game changer. I just can't see Scotty leaving the head the way it is, though. He's uh, he's been playing too well. I think you find that he'll uh, he'll cut this down. Be Indeed. very surprised if he doesn't. He's been uh, he's had a great weekend of bowls. He's been playing superbly. He likes this. He's rather got his beer down the other end, or he's getting excited about this bowl. Just oh doesn't dear. look like he's got the legs, legs there, Brian. That's what happens when you talk him up. They're not going to tell us, but I'd say that would be six shots, in my opinion. We'll have to wait till they change the ball there, Jess. So where are you off to tomorrow, Jess? Be back back to the office? Back, back down to the office tomorrow, tomorrow. yes. Um, Unpack. Yeah, I'll be I'll be unpacking tomorrow and then packing up again on Friday and going over to Hamilton, Hamilton. for the powerhouse pairs. Uh, not only that, you're playing there too and everything. Oh, I'm going to give it a go. Oh my Godfather! <laughs> going to well, try. You, you could be better than Punsy. At least you remember small ring on the inside, won't you? Our state singles champion. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't think Punchy's going to leave that one down, kiddo. <laughs> Jeez, the, play, the players didn't miss him, did they? Bit of fun. All good fun. All good banter. All good banter. One of the true characters of our great game. Peter Leon. Heck of a nice he bloke. He is indeed. He, oh, absolutely. So we see Burmo just dropping his weight there, which is very uncharacteristic. He's led absolutely superbly for five games. But this can happen. The fifth game... The uh, the few things kick in. Number one, the fatigue factor. Number two, you're not sleeping in your own bed. And number three, and the most important one of the lot, the alcohol factor. <laughs> <laughs> All three, but the last one plays the biggest part. 
Hey, Mark, I gather you've got <laughs> Jesse in your team next weekend, mate, eh? <laughs> hey, Mark, I think I can say the same for you. Hey. Good looking rooster. Good on you, mate. You'll have a good weekend, mate. She's a good girl. So we see uh, <laughs> John Dojo getting in the good teams now. Hey, good on you, Sean. I tell you what, mate, he serves his body. Uh, he has laid absolutely superbly here this weekend. I've been watching a few of his games <laughs> from where we've been sitting, and uh, those orange bowls have been too far away from that white thing all weekend, mate. No. I know they've struggled a little bit coming over here from that back green in this game. He started off a little bit uh, inconsistently, but gee whiz, I tell you what, he's starting to nail it now once again, though. But we've noticed that with most teams that have come from the back green to this green, it's not the pace of the green, Jess, it's just the wind tunnels on this yep. here with the sheds being here. Yes. The back green's running in the opposite direction. Direction. Both running absolutely superbly. Uh, good finish on both of them, but um, this green here with just the wind factor has caused a few havoc to some of our top players. Yes, indeed. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Shawnee, yeah. yeah. Nice starter there by uh, Matty Bell. The ball's, ball's still on the run. So very, I very know, usable. I know how to distract you, Shawnee. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're gone, put, you're gone put son. Put you off straight away. <laughs> <laughs> you're gone, son. <laughs> and don't start something you can't finish, buddy. Uh, we see a nice looking ball here by Jacob. He's going to come around this one. It's just going to pull up a little bit short. Just need a bit more weight. Had a pretty good run on that. So, Matty just changing his hand. See a good crowd up there too. A lot of people inside the club watching this too, Jess. So they are. Yeah. Don't blame them because parts of the really club. Really enjoying watching great bowls. It's just Parts of the club are actually air conditioned, so I don't blame them for sitting in there, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's been no matter what what rink you watch, though. There's just uh, great games everywhere, and everywhere. the heads all over the green have been absolutely fantastic, haven't they? Yes. See, yep. Kane just dropped his line on this one too. He's, he wish he might do some damage here. He doesn't want to ricochet this too far. Two PM. Roger Goodrich, how are you, my friend? They have Roger on board. We see Trenton Healy playing his ball. Not too sure where that finished. Just a little bit wide by the looks of it. So Kane Nelson with his next ball. Playing his forehand. Seems like he's on a pretty good line here. Got a very good line. Trying to change the head. Just wants to get down to that orange. Well, that's that's a very good bowl because he's set and stayed. Yep. And um, any movement of the kitty now, they've got that catcher there of Johnny Newell. So, uh, yeah, it's a good bowl. G'day, Latif. How are you, mate? Oh, he's cottage line on this one. Anything can happen with this bowl, though. Yes, uh, ever so true, Cam. I never forgot that mental fatigue, mate. Yeah, it's a good game, Latif, that's for sure. It's, it's a great game. But we'll have the uh, live streaming next weekend out of Bay Desert, mate. Look forward to bringing all our viewers that uh, presidential invitation match. We see Jacob just trying to sit this ball out the head. He just wanted to sit and stay there. Uh, just caught it on the edge. Uh, Scotty McLaughlin obviously going to play his forehand here, I say, Jess, and try and yes. sit that bowl of canes. Yep. Just sit and stay. Let's 
So they've got uh, 50 minutes still on the green, according to my calculations. Yes. So they should go very close to getting the ends in. I think so. Scott is just going to be a bit wide with this. He might just get this a little bit. Yeah, he just caught the edge of that bowl. Wanted to be inside there, really, didn't he? He did. <laughs> hey, fantastic Latif. Look forward to it, mate. It's one thing a lot of people don't know, that Latif's actually a, a chef in his working life and um, great cook. So he reckons he's bringing us out some Singapore noodles next Sunday, Jess. Oh, yum. <laughs> Very nice. So Jacob got a nice-looking bowl on this. His bowl's starting to work nicely into the head. Yes. Well, he's actually made that a little bit harder for Scotty to get to. Very and Scotty's got to ball. change his shot now. You've got to think he's got to be a little bit more aggressive. He could even play under that yellow bowl because the back is in trouble with it also too at the same time with Johnny's uh, back bowl. Yes. But I assume that would be holding possibly two shots there. He can rather play through that yellow bowl of Matty Bell's or go for Kane's bowl but he can't play with big weight he's got to play with control where he could end up with probably one shot he's playing with control seems like he's on a fairly good grass line if it's going to come back <laughs> what that, a cracker of a bowl what a cracker. What a shot. That was a great bowl. Absolutely. Hey, Monkey, getting... yes. That's going to be an excellent finish, mate. How you going, Chrissy? Trenton Healy just basically said to me, how did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> how did you do that? How did you do, do that? that? What a bowl of Scotty McLaughlin. I normally say that I've got the blindfold on. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> <'Cause> I, <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> what a great bowl. Uh, Gee whiz. So we see... Uh... Yeah, Nolene, how are you? G'day, Barbara Green. Hey, Nolzy. Nolzy. I think Trenton Hill is running down to ask Scotty McLaughlin for his autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Just walked past us in a hurry. Oh, he's going down to ask him for his autograph. Yeah, you got that right now. We wouldn't see many better than that one, mate. I'm telling you that right now. And this is what Scotty McLaughlin's capable of, mate. I reckon he's one of those players, in my opinion, that I classify has always just moved underneath the radar as I call it yes I think he's always had a very uh, always been a talent but never really come to fruition because he's always had better players around him who seem to have got the limelight but uh, you've got to take your hat off to him like him and that was just uh, fantastic mm. Nolsey says howdy howdy Nolsey yeah hope you're well hey. hope, those, hope those grandbabies are Healthy and happy. I'm sure they are with a lovely grandma like you or Nana. Well, I must be whatever old. they call you. I must be older than her because I've been seeing my great grandchildren this week. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Must be older than you, Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Not hard, Brian. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> you could have at least tried to defend me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ever so true, uh, Jim. That was an Alex Marshall shot for sure. Was, uh, yeah, he played it beautifully. You see a nice bowl here too from Matty Bell. He really has had an outstanding couple of days. He's uh, he's really played very well from the two position for the Scotty McLaughlin-led team. He's uh, been sniffing around it, giving him bowls in the head the mm. whole time. And one of the things that, as I've said previously too, and I know the viewers must be um, sick of tired of me saying, is that how well this team has combined. If, uh, if Burmo hasn't been around where he normally has been, most most ends, Matty Bell puts one in there. And if that's not the case, well, Trenton Healy puts one in there. And yeah. when Scotty McLaughlin has to play the big shot, he plays the big bowl. So that, to me, is what Fours is all about. It's a team game. It's not just left to one or two players. That's it. 
And that's what I normally do when I play with Robbie Allen. I just leave it up to him. I make him go last so he can keep knocking me up for shot. Because you can't be knocked up if you're not short, Jesse. That's right. A lot of these young kids got no idea how to play this game. <laughs> I just leave him short so I can keep being knocked up. <laughs> I just wish sometimes I'd give Robbie three bowls instead of two so he could have knocked me in a bit closer. Yeah. Even a person with his score can't make me look good at times. <laughs> G'day, Stephen Sale. Thanks for watching. How you going, Steve? Tell you what, mate, I've seen you at a few tournaments a little late, mate. I'll tell you right now, if you want to come to a cracker, mate, you want to get your name down and the team up here next year. Uh, wonderful destination. Hospitality first class. And, uh, mate, just a great tournament. Great players here. Uh, very close tournament. Really anyone's game, so... Great to see you though, mate. Great to see you enjoying your bowls too, buddy. So Trenton just pulling up a little bit uh, short with this one here. He can wave his hands all he's want. It's not going to do any good. G'day, Daryl Bridges. How are you, mate? Good to see you on board. <laughs> no, Kobe. How are you going, buddy? Good to have you on board. So nice looking bowl here by Kane Nelson. Gets the inside edge of this. He's going to come in. Just gonna no, just gonna fall. So, still got a good view of the jack there. No, Trenton just need to be that one there, just to be a little bit higher. A <laughs> little bit wider. So Kane with his next one definitely got the uh, grass right. Grass right. So trying to Let's set Maddie's bowl here by the looks of it, Jess. I think he's going to be just around it. Let's come to a pretty good come home. Come to a good home. Yeah. Falls over. That's very good. Our sponsors for this weekend for the 2020 Paiwa Classic Men's Falls, proudly sponsored by Fraser Coast Regional Council, Harvey Bay RSL. Saw you having dinner there last night. Church of Christ River. Era Resort, Church of Christ Care, Fraser Coast Motor Centre, Clayton Hearing and BCIB Insurance Brokers. So we see back Scotty McLaughlin here, got to play another big bowl. Indeed. Were you up at the RSL last night, Brian? No, but I went on Facebook and put a <laughs> picture of yourself there. I do. Yes. Me and Clarky. Yes. Tearing it up. You were. <laughs> <laughs> you, we to you told me it was a big girls night out. Oh, <laughs> it was. And you said you're going to be home in bed by nine o'clock. I said, yeah, that's about right. I said, I'll have about two hours sleep by then, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, they, they do a great job there, though, don't they? They, they really do. do. Fabulous food, food, fabulous hospitality. Staff are always, you know, on the ball. All there. And the thing about it, where you're staying down there, too, you're staying down in the... Um, Tourist Park. Tourist Park. Yes. And, and the thing about that is that the best part about that, you've got the water park just next yes. door to it. Yes. You've got uh, the facilities around there is absolutely first class, aren't they? Indeed. So, well... <laughs> oh, thanks very much, Angela. It's very much appreciated. Yeah, you got that right, Colin. You got that right, mate. Yeah, tell them what you want, mate. I always find, Colin, when I used to, uh, well, when I play a bad bowl, mate, there's no point talking to it. I found if I swore at it a lot, at least I'd feel better after it. Jesse here working out. I've never seen someone type so much in all my life. I'm normally a um, one finger person when I do. Yeah, yeah you know, I'm, I'm getting real good at it now, though. Oh well, when oh. does the two finger break out? No, no, never. No, only when I go <laughs> <laughs> up yours. <laughs> the only time it breaks out. So we see Jake. Or if you're on the bowling green, <laughs> no, that happens all the time. Angry at yourself, oh, Brian. That's the one. Again, that's not a bad bowl there by Young Jacob Nelson. <laughs> Um, Not a bad bowl. Picked up a few there by the looks of it. So, Johnny Newell. How many? Even Jacob's trying to find out. Just the one shot to the Jacob Nelson lead combination. I thought they had a couple there, so. Uh, there's been another bowl in there I didn't see. G'day, John. How are you? G'day, Alan Elliott. How are you going, mate? Good to have you on board, buddy. 
Hope's all well with you. There we see uh, Johnny Newell playing a good three-quarter length here, Jess. Got the uh, mat right back, back. just about back to the tee, so should sort out the boys. There we see a nice starter here. Maybe he's just going to sit in behind the kitty. Not going to be too far away, though. He's got a beautiful line on that. It's a good start. Easy to correct when you're a little bit through with your first one. Uh, now, this bloke here has had a, an exceptional weekend. Mark, Johnny, Bir oh Mark, Mark sorry. Birmingham. He's yeah. led absolutely magnificently for the Scotty Good day, Johnny. How are you, mate? He's led beautifully. Look at that. He's, uh, again, his weight absolutely spot on. Just his grass line just dropping slightly. But um, Johnny Newell with his next bowl. Of course, beautifully grass bowl once again. He's got to change his weight. Got to lose about four feet. That's the difference. Johnny's got to lose five feet. Four feet, where I've got to lose about four and a half stone. Yes. That's the difference. Robbie keeps feeding me lollies. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I met, we got a good lolly supply. Sure <laughs> Jesus do. Christ, we smashed it this weekend, though. Just. We should have shares in Allen's. <laughs> we should have, shouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> so, my, uh, Mark, yeah, just dropping his line with that one. Again, he had perfect weight for what he was after, too. Uh, Jake Wren with his first bowl again. He's got a beautiful line on this one now. It just comes down to his weight. And this young man's been in fine form the last few months. Uh, playing great bowls. And uh, asked him last week where he's playing bowls from. He said he's in year 12. So he's going to stick out the uh, Darling down. So he hasn't got too far to drive. Which is pretty good, pretty good idea in my opinion. So... Look at these kids. Like, I mean... Uh, you think you've known them for 30 years, and, I know. and they're only in year 12. I know, it's Gee whiz. unreal. I didn't last a year 12. I got kicked out before then. Oh, no, uh, why? Reform school. <laughs> 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 um, we didn't have stuff like that. <laughs> good to hear, Johnny. Glad you're well. Great weekend we had last weekend, buddy. A lot of fun. Uh, is he going to sneak around that? Oh, great attempt. It's another bowl in the head there for the Jacob Nelson lead combination. So, Matty Bell probably playing his forehand here, I assume. Nice open draw. Very capable draw player. An all round good guy, Matty Bell. Yep, look at this. Coming in nicely there, if he's got the legs oh, almost. Just pulled up a little bit there, Jess. It did. I said the breeze is a little bit different than the last, than yesterday. So players just adapting to the conditions. And the wind has really dropped off to what it was probably about an hour ago, Jess. Mm-hmm. So we see the Bowles Queensland flags and that over the left-hand side there and the flags yeah. in front of the club rooms. Robbie will no doubt get a shot of the flagpole very shortly. Just to prove to all the viewers that I was completely and utterly wrong and the wind was howling. <laughs> you wait till the next gusty breeze. So Kane just come down and have a look at their head and um, have a bit of a look. So I'll just play the backhand there and play through the head. So Jacob's saying just play to John's back bowl, which is, yeah, as the wind does pick up now. So it just is said, now, yeah. Look at it picking up now. <laughs> it was still there, there a few minutes are. ago. There's those flags. See them, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> There's one of them wrapped around the flagpole. <laughs> so Kane with this bowler too. He's got good weight on this one too, Jess. He certainly has. If he's going to push that through. Oh, yeah, he's dragged the jack back, back to John. Which is shot bowl. Shot bowl, lovely. So that's a turnaround. He played it very well. It was a good attacking a good attacking bowl. But the thing about it, he played it with such great weight. He did. Played it with such great weight. Indeed. Little little dogs trying to dig a hole down here, Brian. Yes. <laughs> Miller, behave yourself, please. You're on TV. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. So Trenton with his first bowl. Just got to come around this yellow one of Johnny Newell's, but I think he's going to cut under it. Still got the opportunity to sit this. No, he just got it too fat. Great try, though. So 
uh, Kane with his next bowl. A beautiful attacking bowl with his first one. He's got a good line on this too. If his weight holds up, he's going to be pretty close to being in the count. Indeed, that's a lovely bowl. It is a beautiful bowl. Very good bowling by the young fella. Yeah. He's uh, absolutely got an outstanding talent there, Jess. A big future ahead of him, that young man. A lovely try there by Trenton Healy. Just pulled up a little bit short. Um, who's leading? Um, eight, this is number one versus two, uh, Daryl. Scotty, Scotty McLaughlin is leading the whole event on um, 12 points plus 50 ends because it goes on ends. And Jacob Nelson is on 12 points on 47 ends. So it's uh, anyone's game, and as we said, number one playing number two, and a lot of the top teams are playing each other, or teams that are just out of the top eight who are more than capable of winning this event. So it really comes down. And that's one thing about this scoring, as I've said all weekend, though, just it keeps everybody close, doesn't it? So you can it lose does. a game, yes, or you can get a, a weak team to play against, and instead of having a huge margin where it sets you for the weekend, it comes down to the amount of ends that you win. So every bowl really is an attacking bowl yep. because you have to win the end to get a point. Yes. So both the skips have struggled on the uh, full length end here. Uh, they've both pulled up a bit short, but we see a beautiful line here by young Jacob Nelson. Again, yes. He's got good weight on this too by the looks of it. He certainly He's has. He's got a great bowl here. It's just going to finish Ooh. behind. That's not yeah, bad. Yeah, that ran on. That really did run on. Oh, really went those, in the ditch. Those shallow ditches again. Yes. Got him again. So Scotty's just got to uh, change thing up. And again, too, he's got a beautiful line on this, too. He's not going to be far away. His bowl starts working in nicely now. Look at this for a bowl. Just going to run through, though. Oh, my God, I thought he would have had the kitty with that one. So that's... As the uh, Doge works onto the uh, mat, obviously kicking the bowls back to put on the tee once again. They've had success at this long end, so yes. why would you change things? Why would you change things up when mm. you're playing good on that length? Yep. So we're really coming down to the business end of the game now, like 15, 11. Four shots in it. Three ends to go, Jess. Yes. What's your red hot tip, killer? Oh, look, both teams are just playing phenomenal bowls. It's it's going to be down to the wire. Last end, predicting 15 all on the last end. Really? Yeah. Big call. Big statement. I Big reckon, statement. I reckon. I can oh. feel it in me waters. <laughs> oh, hello. Sounds as though just got to go to the toilet again. <laughs> See a lovely starter there by John Newell. A beautiful weighted bowl, just couple of feet jack high so very handy starter so Mark Birmingham who's had a great weekend led up absolutely superbly all weekend just struggling a little bit the last couple of ends uncharacteristic miss there by uh, Burma but a good backward bowl though very good backward bowl sitting just on the edge of the uh, of the ditch Uh, yeah, so Shannon just sent me a message to say that he thinks the Nelsons and Co. will win it. So I'm going to go against you there, baby. There you go, mate. <laughs> Sorry, but it's going to come down to the wire. I'm not putting anyone on it who I think is going to win. But, you're but I'll bet you something good. There you go. <laughs> Uh, to my knowledge, Russell, yes, um, 
Trenton and um, Jeanette, in my opinion, both came from ACT. I know they both had represented the ACT. So um, both great players and both great people too, mate. Uh, it's one thing about our great game. We've got so many, uh, so many nice people in our game, mate. It's uh, fantastic. You see a great bowl here from Jake Wren, not too far away. Look at that, just sitting beside, in behind the kitty, right on the line. Yeah, Wiz doesn't get much better than that, does it? You bastard. So we see the uh, Wilkie family just turned up. Fiona and all the kids. Yeah, Mike, that's dead right, Naughty. I've been calling him Mike all weekend, mate. 100% correct, Naughty. Is Shannon playing next week, Jess? Uh, no, he's not good enough, Mark. <laughs> Jesus. Mark, that's a big statement, mate. You're playing with Jess next week, mate. Oh, I hate to tell you a little secret, mate. He will be there to watch, though, Mark, so... There you go, mate. we got to put on a good game. <laughs> so, Jake, with his next bowl, he just wants to sit these two back bowls if he can. He may be dropping into the ditch here. He just missed sitting that back bowl. Just fell in, so uh, really, uh, even though that um, Jacob's holding three shots there, they really need some cover around this back here. Uh, yeah, nice looking bowl here from Matty Bell. I think he's just a pull up a little bit short though. He just overcorrected slightly. Again, he had a beautiful line though. Ha ha, Shawnee Byrne. Yeah, well. That's that's not my call, that's Jason Curry's. He's the boss, mate. You gotta go through him. <laughs> I don't give away free bowls. Oh, obviously, Mark Rooney's talking to me here, Jess. Would that be right? Pat in. Mark's I agree, beautiful. No, he's talking about you, Brian. As I said, as I yeah. said he's talking to me, not you. He, oh, absolutely, 100%. Hey, good on you, Mark. Like you too, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. Good on you, Rick. See, Trenton just a little bit wide with that one. He's going to drop into the ditch too, by the looks of it. But they've still got this Cashman back here. Any trail of the kitty back here and two shots to uh, to Scotty McLaughlin. And if that happens, uh, that 15 oars is looking pretty handy, I reckon. They really need a back bowl. He's done that now, young Kane. Yes, it's still Put a back got, one in there. Put a back one in there, but st I still don't think it's just far enough for the weight that Scotty's capable of playing, getting the kitty. Again, Trenton, again, he got a beautiful line, just pulling up, just pulling up a bit short, so. Jacob just touching his brother's fingers. Come on, I'm going to go draw a shot, son. Wish me luck. That's what you call brotherly love. Yes. See, <laughs> I like it when the mixed pair start and the arguments start that's yeah. and husband and wives husband play with, and wives play that's with great. each other yeah never seen so much aggression in a game of bowls <laughs> that can happen that happens <laughs> <laughs> it's scary a scary scenario anyway we see jacob with his first bowl he's looking for something around the back i tell you what i think he's got to draw weight on this one he's not going to be far away the young man and a sit just keep running just got to keep running that's not a bad bowl at all <laughs> No, that's because um, they've really got the tee covered. So Scotty's got to be very careful, uh, Jess. He's really got to play draw now because they've really got that tee surrounded. They do indeed, yeah. And that's good thinking by the uh, by young, the young Nelson boys. Young team, yeah. yeah. Well, just the team as it is, Brian. Because you know they all got to think together and put their heads together and that's try right. and get over the line over these next few well, ends. It really shows you their maturity over the last few years where they've developed, particularly Jacob, I've been watching yep. him for a few years, as we all have, and yes. we all knew, like Kane, an unbelievable talent, and uh, what a 
great young man he is too. Yeah. But uh, it just goes to show you their maturity of the last few years. And we see another great bowl here from Jacob. And that's going to be right in Scotty's line for playing the forehand. That bowl falls over. That may cause Scotty to really attack here. But even if he attacks it, and if he loses the kitty, which he could do, he's still going to be, gee whiz, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven down on the tee at this stage. I tell you what, Richard, if that was a thing, I'd be there playing in it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a... Uh, so, Scotty, just going to... Oh, play it on his backhand. He's just got to basically reach it. Oh, I think he's dropped his weight, Jess. Gee whiz. He's just going to pull across, isn't he? Yeah. Well, not his weight, I should say, his, his grass line. Yeah, well, his, his weight line. was pretty his spot grace on. was pretty good, but he's taken a few out, though. I will say that. He's taken a few out. One, two, three. You're going to put a tape on for four by the looks of it, Jess. Yep, they're uh, getting a, down to measure. That's a real game changer. Scotty had great weight on that one. Four shots. Uh, that's a handy pickup at this uh, time of the proceedings. Very handy pickup by the uh, Jacob Nelson lead combination. They've played very well this weekend, the young lads, but then again, take nothing away from Scotty McLaughlin's team. They've played exceptionally well also. Well, what a great game we've witnessed here this afternoon. One versus two. So, Johnny Newell sticking to his backhand, playing away from the club rooms at Poyalba Bowls Club. Again, got a lovely start by uh, John. Going to be very close. Oh, just touched the kitty. Didn't belly it. Just moved the kitty off the line. Robbie's run out of the box and left me in charge. Oh, look out. Look out. Ladies and gentlemen, the cameras might go off in a minute. Could go anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sit tight. You wait till he realises I'm so close to this keyboard. He will be back here. I think he's gone to the toilet. He is walking very fast. He is concerned. Uh, I'm not too sure uh, how many hands they've won Peter Reach. I couldn't tell you that, mate, but... Uh, you're keeping count, you might know my friend, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah, who knows, mate. It's um, Jesse's call of 15 all, mate. I think it's gone. It was Jacob's 19. Jacob's 19, is he? Yep. So the 15 all's gone. God, gone that, that makes me look old. Hey! <laughs> 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 so... Mike with his second bowl there, had good weight, just a little bit wide, so Jake Wren playing his forehand. Yeah, you got that right, John. Uh, a bit wide with this one here by the looks of uh, Jake, because uh, that hand there just seems to be holding slightly. Had to be a little bit narrower than that. I'm empty. Hello, Kerry. Welcome aboard. Grandma, soon to be. Certainly is. <laughs> yes, I mentioned that. I've been talking to Kerry this morning, and I said, I know she'll make a great grandma. I must be very excited for our oh, great bowl there by Maddie Bell with the uh, depending birth. Remember one of the bowlers at um, Canungra I was talking to, Jess, when she was pregnant, she kept telling me that she couldn't wait to have the child to get back the bowls. So I went on Facebook one Sunday morning and I heard that she had a baby. Mm -hmm. So I sent her a message, do you want to play bowls today? And she said no. I said, well, you always said you want to get back the bowls. What's your problem? <laughs> Boy, didn't I get a good bite out of that one? I had all these irate... Females come on board saying, how can you say that? It's easy. <laughs> yeah, that's quite funny. Yeah, that's great, Kerry. 
Robbie's back. I know he got a bit concerned because he saw me leaning over towards the uh, control area. <laughs> so we see Kane Nelson just trying to outdraw Matty Bell here. Not going to be too far away. Just Not run far around. at all. Just running through. Just running through. But lovely little catchment area there for the uh, for his brother to play to. So. Again, we see Bakes must be finished because he's got his thongs on. Kane <laughs> <laughs> looks to be a lot closer than this one. He's getting a bit excited about this. His bowl starting to work in nicely now. If he gets the kitty. Oh, did he get it far enough? He, he just got he the just edge of the ball. What a great try. He wasn't far away from there, Jess. Not at all. Uh, he couldn't have played it much better. He just had to uh, belly that instead of getting the edge of it. This has been played through with a bit of weight. Yeah, but that's a that. very good home there. Very good home there for uh, Trenton Healy. It uh, gives Scotty a bit of an opportunity. Ryan Bester, how are you, my friend? Good to have you on board, buddy. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, uh, Ryan. We're at uh, Broadbeach Bowls Club tomorrow, so I look forward to uh, catching up with all of the directors and um, everyone at Broadbeach, mate. Should be great. Nolan Dutton. Who's lucky. lucky? Yeah, who's lucky? Who's lucky, love? <laughs> you tell Uncle Briny. <laughs> Share your secrets. Oh, Jacob, what a great try. Again, about a quarter of an inch away being the perfect bowl. Oh, Scotty with his first bowl. Got an open draw here. Young man's been playing so well all weekend. He has indeed. Again, Two times on the big screen, hey? Certainly has been. How does he do that? Oh, I think he must have paid Johnny Walker some money. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, when one's playing two. Oh, Nolan, okay, love. I'm glad you clarified that. <laughs> My mind was wandering there, Nolan. So Jacob doesn't have to change much. The uh, first bowl was pretty good as the wind starts swirling around here now. Pai is not too happy with this for some reason. I know the reason very well. He said he thinks it's cutting, but if look at the way it's holding. If he a flick off that. Yes, good on you, Jacob. Put that, your hands in the air. That's a pretty lucky, shot. good shot. <laughs> Well, yeah. All of the above. <laughs> but the thing about that is that Matty Bell's got best backward. He does, yes. So um, Scotty more than capable of changing this arena. Indeed he is. 1911, 17th end. He yep. really got to score this end. He does, he does. He really Try and make two. Yep. Come down on his, on his forehand as he's doing. Oh, he's got his weight. No, he's not going to come back, is he? No. Uh, that was oh. a, that was a very good bowl there by uh, now, uh, young young Jacob. Jane, whatever. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob. No Jane oh. playing out here, love. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a Jane out here, we'd be very concerned <laughs> because it's the Pi Alba men's classic. <laughs> yes, you've got to cut our alcohol off. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky I've got a responsible service of alcohol certificate, my dear. I do too. Do you? There yeah. you go. I passed that in high school. <laughs> my godfather. <laughs> Wait till I get on the wines, Bryony. Oh, my godfather. <laughs> I'll be anybody's. <laughs> That's it, love. Hey, good on you, Russell Hindle. I nearly failed my responsible service alcohol certificate. I had a girly teacher. Yep. And she said, Brian, if two girls come in your bar late at night, 
drunk, what would you do? And I said, buy him a drink and rough from the lift home. <laughs> Boy, did she go off her cracker. I said, what am I supposed to do? He said, book a cab and give him a glass of water. I said, you're joking. <laughs> uh, all good At fun. At least you're honest, Brian. All good fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we see uh, Mike Birmingham with his first bowl just coming around the back here. Going to go to a very good home. A lovely starter there by Johnny Newell. Beautiful weighted bowl just sitting jack high. So... Johnny with his next bowl. This is his last bowl for the tournament, five games. So the boys have played very, very well. His uh, skip always remembers your last bowl. So Johnny, you're a, you're a shot duck. <laughs> you're gone, mate. <laughs> Five foot short in everyone's eye. <laughs> so Mike Birmingham with his last bowl. He really deserves to draw this the way he's played today and yesterday. Yeah, great bowl there. Can Burma. I just mention, in the background here, I can hear the ice cream truck. Can you? <laughs> I, I drove around town for at least 40 minutes last night looking for an ice cream. <laughs> There's a heap of shops down there. <laughs> down the Esplanade I could just. not find. There's heaps of them down there, my dear. <laughs> and then I went down a wrong way street. Yeah. <laughs> And almost hit a kangaroo. <laughs> oh, that'd be right. <laughs> I said, Skippy, Skippy. move it. <laughs> That's scary, my dear. <laughs> when you're driving down a main street and nearly hit a kangaroo, it can only happen in <laughs> Australia, my dear. It only happen. Uh, but it is a wonderful destination, this oh, region, isn't it? Oh, it's a perfect it? destination. Great yeah. tourism, great everything. Beaches. Well, it's very good. It's very safe for kids, isn't it? It is. Moment? And, yeah, my kids are just having a ball here, Brian. Which is fantastic. I'm so, so thankful for um, Maria doing a fabulous job with them while I'm sitting here next to you. <laughs> Talking. <laughs> Talking away. Talking away. It's been good fun. It's good day, Shana, watching from uh, Scotland. Good to have you on board. Tristan, it is warm. It's not too bad, though. There's a there's a there's quite a pleasant breeze blowing at the moment. <laughs> no, she's not at the moment, uh, Jill. She's been very well behaved, being uh, a very responsible shop owner and uh, co-commentator. She's been very responsible, Jill. So. Love you, Jules. <laughs> yeah. Be up to Woomba uh, in January, love. Look forward to catching up with you, Jules. Thank you very much for those kind words, Sandra and uh, Mark. Yeah, mate. All good, mate. Hello, something's happened out there. I think Jimmy Anderson just drawn a shot by the sounds of it. The boys are getting excited. Playing the Greekos out there. So Kane Nelson with his first bowl. Could be a little bit wide for this one. He's just coming around the back. He's just coming around the back for a bit of cover by the looks of that. G'day, Mar White Eye. How are you, buddy? Good to have you on board, mate. So Trenton with his first bowl, he just uh, underdone his grass line here slightly. Had good weight just to pull that kitty off. Yeah, pretty pretty uh, true statement there, Jason. It's been a, they really have got a great mental attitude. This uh, Nelson com combination, mate, and uh, they mate they just play such great bowls. <laughs> no worries at all, Jules. We'll, we'll look forward to catching up, my dear. We'll see what happens. But, uh, be it uh, not too sure. No, Trenton, uh, just a little bit underdone. He may get a straightener off this bowl and get a result. He's got the straightener, and he got the result. There you go. Great bowl there by Trent. Did you actually see it? Yeah. I've got a third eye, Brian. There's something <laughs> you don't know no, about no, me. No, no, <laughs> 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 oh, dear, that was, uh, yes, I'll say as a, uh, yes. No luck in bowls. It's pure skill. I will say that, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on my phone here looking up the NRL bowls that we do in Aero. So I'm chasing the Canberra Raiders at the moment. Someone's inquired about. 
The Canberra Raiders. Okay, then good afternoon, Alan Vidler. How are you, my friend? Glad to have you on board. As we G'day, see, Alan. How are you, mate? See Scotty McLaughlin with his first bowl, trying to draw this on the forehand. He's not going to be very far away, Scotty. And to finish the game the way he started it. That's a good counter in there. Or oh, may have just run through slightly. I said uh, big bowl here by uh, Jacob Nelson. I said they can't lose the game at this stage, but no. uh, he'd like to pick up this end just to clarify that they are the winners. Uh, he would. Kane's looking like he's liking it. If he just turns great in, that's, that's a great bowl. That's a great bowl. Excellent bowl there, great there bowl by there. Jake. Beautiful Nelson. bowl there by Jacob. Played that beautifully. I was watching that time, Brian. You were watching that time. <laughs> <laughs> They're shaking hands here, Brian. Yep, so it's a one shot to the Jacob Nelson led combination. Fabulous. And now it will come down to the results of the other games. So the time limit coming down very, very shortly. Seven minutes to go. Um, what I'm going to do, though, I'm just going to uh, let you talk for a few minutes, Jess. OK, no worries. Have you still got... Yep, you've left, you left me on. All right. So there we have it, folks. Thanks again to our sponsors, the Fraser Coast Regional Council, Harvey Bay RSL, Churches of Christ and Churches of Christ Care, Riviera Resort, BCIB Insurance Brokers, Clayton Hearing and F Fraser Coast Morton Centre. Without these sponsors we could not showcase these great events for you all. Very well spoken, Jess, and a very, uh, very true I'm thirsty statement. Now. <laughs> thirsty now. Thirsty. <laughs> been talking, yes. <laughs> so what a what a what a great weekend that, of, uh, yes. of bowls, though, Jess, and the caliber of excellent weekend. the caliber of the players and everything has been absolutely outstanding. And once again, you've got to take your hat off to this young uh, Jacob Nelson-led combination of his brother and Jake Wren, of course, Johnny Newell holding up the lead position. Um, they have played. I've watched a fair few of their games, which I've seen out here watching from here, and they've played absolutely magnificent bowls, haven't they? You know what I mean? They've been, um, as I said, it's their mental toughness, their their attitude, and um, just they all seem to get on so well with each other. Definitely. Team together, and you all gel well together. It's yep. it's something that, yeah. It just happens, just doesn't Just happens, it? and... They get the result at the end of the day. Yeah, no, it's great to see, isn't it? And uh, well deserved. But, uh, not 100% sure on, on how it's going to finish, though, because I've got no idea on the other results. So uh, we're just waiting to see the mayor's here. And the mayor's here. We're going to do a quick interview with him and um, hopefully um, pick up some uh, ideas on what's happening with the uh, this region over the next few years. Yeah. Which I no doubt after the... Uh, most of the um, elections they've had not long ago that they'd be working on. Uh, we may pick up an interview here with um, with young Jake if we can. Yeah, definitely. He's no, we just missed him. He's busy talking. No, over there. Yep, here's coming, so we're going to cut you off, Jess. Okay, Doki, thank, thank you for having me. Thank you very much. I've really enjoyed it this Absolutely. weekend. Absolutely. We're going to bring in Jacob Nelson and have a bit of a quick interview with Jacob. Uh, see how he led his uh, team out there today. I see he's got a smile on his face too, Jess. So uh, he's um, very well done, did a great job. And, um, mate, I know your mum's on board. Have you been talking to her on the phone? Yeah, just, just let her know how we went. Yeah, she's been on watching you, mate. So, uh, she always is. Yeah, I know, mate. Right. So, mate, congratulations, mate. Well done. Uh, been watching you play, uh, Jacob, the last uh, few games, the last couple of days, I'd say, and uh, your team's performed very well, my friend. 
Yeah, certainly. Um, Doge up front, Jakey at two just makes everything look so much better and Kane just converts for us, so they put me in an armchair for the whole weekend. Uh, I wouldn't say that, my friend. I saw you play a couple of big bowls out there, mate. That, uh, mate, the conditions, the, the tournament, uh, the quality of players, uh, everything about it just reeks of success. Yeah, oh, it's, a, it's a fantastic field and a fantastic club and Johnny Walker just does a sensational job. Well, so. the hospitality alone, um, uh, shortbread nowhere near as good as your mother's own, mate, I'll tell you that right now, mate. <laughs> I just, uh, after eating the shortbread last weekend, mate, I've been spoilt rotten, mate, but yeah. uh, shortbread just not up to scratch, mate, so they've got to pick their act up next year. <laughs> exactly, they tried hard. They brought they a slice today. That was mate, good. mate, they did try hard, I don't know. But, uh, mate, you must be very uh, very proud of your boys and very proud of yourself for uh, winning, once again, a very prestige tournament. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure how the results are going to fall because um, Matty Lucas had a really big win there, so they really? might actually jump us. We're not quite sure yet. But, um, mate, you, you can't do any more. No, exactly. Oh, we're, we're just stoked to get five out of five yeah. when you go to a carnival. If you win all five games, the rest is outside of your control, to be completely honest. <laughs> no, it's uh, ever so true, Jacob. And as I said, it, this tournament, and particularly with the scoring structure that they have here, which I think is a very good structure, where it keeps everybody in it like I mean as you know yourself you you know I've played a lot of tournaments over the years and I commentate these days that don't play too many but as you're finding out yourself there's always one team that'll get a lucky draw play against one of the local club teams and get a a uncanny win where it puts them in the position to win the event but this one here even if you lose a game you're still sniffing in the top eight aren't you yeah exactly just so many quality teams in this field that it's not there, to be honest with you, there aren't too many soft draws that you can get. Just mate, quality field and quality players. I couldn't agree more, mate. But, uh, mate, just a hearty congratulations. I know you uh, want to go and have a look at the results, mate. And once again, too, mate, just a hearty congratulations on behalf of everybody. But uh, keep up the good work, son. And I uh, just love watching you and your brother and Jake and those... A great uh, combination, I think, is going to be the future, in my opinion, of Queensland Bowls for many, many years to come, mate. So, uh, I might see you around much before Christmas. So, to you and your family, mate, a wonderful Christmas and look forward to catching up with your brother in January. Uh, keep him bowling on the bowling green, mate, at the junior titles. Yeah, yeah, hopefully he has a good campaign and, yeah, Should plenty be of bowls coming up. So, mate, you look after yourself, mate, and uh, keep up the good work, son. You're doing a great job and uh, you're doing everyone proud, mate. Thank well you done, very buddy. much. Appreciate well it. Well done, mate. So there you've got it, straight from uh, straight from Jacob Nelson, the winner. Uh, fine young man, got got uh, one heck of a uh, future ahead of him and his team. They're doing great guns. Uh, Jason, no, mate, we're not doing the Hamilton Bowls uh, next weekend, mate. So we've got uh, one of Queensland's finest come in to have a bit of a chinwag to us. And, uh, of course, it's great to always welcome the CEO of Bowls Queensland, Mr Brett Wilkie. G'day, Brett. Hi, Brian. Mate, five games. How'd you end up, bud? Oh, a bit weary. <laughs> weary, mate. You're going to sleep well tonight, son. <laughs> what hey. an exciting finish. I'm not sure if Jacob told you the, what the scores are. No, he's not too sure. It's um, The three teams have all finished on the same amount of wins, same amount of ends, and uh, margins come down to... Uh, to get, let Jacob just sneak in, I think. Is that right? I can Gee, see they're still counting up the results, but it looks like Jacob might have just got over the line by margin. Mate, that is and, unbelievable, uh, mate. Doug Wilson from Dolby's ran yep. second on the same amount of ends. Same amount of ends. And uh, there's only a few shots. There's not much shots in it. And yep. then... Um, our teams ran third, so we sort of came came home with a wet sail, but yeah, mate, we won 14 ends in the last game, but uh, needed to win one more. So and that, ju that just goes end. to show you, though, Brett, I said with the scoring uh, structure that they have at this event, and it's a structure that I've said all weekend that I do like because it keeps everybody, it keeps everybody um, close enough that even if you have a loss, you can still pick up, have... With the one point per end, I think structure is better than margin because the margin, there's nine times out of ten, there's one weak team in, in most competitions. Hmm. And if a strong team picks that, it seem, sets them up for the weekend where at least this way, it, like, I mean, you just look at you just look at the results before this game completely. You just said the way it a finish, but everybody had a chance. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Everybody had a chance. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a good format, mate. Yeah, it's been really good organised tournament. They always did a, do a good job here at Pie Alba. I came up last year for the first time and had a really good time, so couldn't wait to get back this year and have a game. So oh, they've got a really good field together and certainly have an exciting finish, which is what it's all about. It is, mate. And what's it like having two days back on the bowling green, mate? Yeah, well, uh, I've 
two days with you a couple of weeks ago at Bow Desert. That, that wore me out. That was too hot. <laughs> that was too hot. At least it was a little bit cooler here. <laughs> it but was, no, it was a beautiful weekend here in Harvey Bay. It was, mate. So you're um, making tracks this evening? Yeah. Yeah, we brought our, our both Maddie Lucas and yeah. I brought our families up it's and fantastic. they've had a good weekend. Well, I must say too, and that's one thing that I, I'm very pleased to say about the Fraser Coast uh, region, is that the facilities here for the younger generation, and particularly young kids with the water parks and everything, Brett, and the the uh, bay down there is very safe for, for the young kids. There's no big waves or anything around, so it is a wonderful holiday destination, isn't it? Yeah, they've family. had a great time. They've had a lot of activities to do, and it's really good to see the Fraser Coast council sponsoring the event oh absolutely mate there's uh, been some wonderful sponsors who have put on this uh we stayed at the riviera resort another sponsor that had a beautiful complex there a nice pool the kids have been enjoying themselves at the pool and mate do that but we've been uh, down there a few times couldn't find what room number you're in <laughs> mate so we couldn't book anything up there yeah i mate. forgot to tell you what room number <laughs> i was in yeah we were in room 22 mate so we've gone now we're safe <laughs> but no it is too and i'm i couldn't speak more highly of the uh of the resort, as you said, it had uh, wonderful everything, very close, have a great uh, out view there of the bay in the mornings, and um, you know, very clean rooms, comfortable beds, uh, couldn't wish for better, mate. Well done to you and Robbie coming up to, to televise this tournament, first time in, in Harvey Bay, I think they've had live streaming like this, yeah. of this quality, so uh, yeah. really good for the region and good for bowls up in the area. Mate, we've had a great uh, number of viewers on board already this weekend, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who will view that last game in the next few hours, and uh, why wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, it was a big uh, turnaround, wasn't it? it Scotty was. had, the, had the lead, we were watching intently <laughs> from the other green, <laughs> uh, knowing that... We were, we were hoping for a draw, but um, yes, yeah, I, I knew our chances of that happening was going to be pretty Well, slim, in actual fact, I asked Jess with about three ends to go. I said, OK, just prediction. She said 15 all. <laughs> I said, that'll make a lot of teams happy. <laughs> Would have made us happy. Yeah. But um, no, we, we had a good weekend and uh, and uh, really enjoyed the, the company and met a lot of new people, which is good. And, it is um, good because yeah, they, really good they really do get a great cross-section of... Um, Queensland, not just South East yeah. Queensland, but as far as the Dolby and the regions are concerned, and um, a you lot get to of cross section. A lot of people from up north that come down and then out west. Well, I have spoken to a lot of people. Mm. I know you've been doing a lot of work here. I realise that because everybody's been telling me they've been talking to you. So uh, it's just not only good, it's good to see the Bowls Queensland banners flying here also too at this event. So, uh, mate, all I can say to you, mate, I thank you very much, and you've always been very generous of your time. And wasn't it great to catch up with young. Um, Cooper Sutton, who, yeah. uh, the nine-year-old. Yeah, caught up with Cooper. He yeah. had a good weekend. He really did, mate. He thoroughly um, he enjoyed it. He played against some good quality teams, so I'm sure he would have learned a lot over the weekend Yep, from a lot of the good players. But and I know a lot of the, the good players have been having a chat to him and giving him some advice. And well, I was just saying to Johnny Walker when he was on here before, Johnny Newell, he, uh, Cooper made mention to Johnny about his um, UBC shirt. Yeah. So Johnny took it off and gave it to him. He should have seen the kid smile, mate. <laughs> I think he'll. Uh, I think he'll sleep in that for the rest of his life, mate. Yeah. I tell you, it's great to see. But uh, as always, Brett, thank you very much for your time and your insight in this wonderful uh, tournament. And uh, it's been a pleasure being up here showcasing yeah, this well great done event. To you and Robbie coming up. Mate, look forward to it. We're going home tonight because we've got a board meeting tomorrow morning, which Robbie organised. I'm going to kill him over that one on the way home. He's got four <laughs> hours of me abusing him. But uh, no, mate, it has been a great event. And thank you very much for the, your time, Brett. I very much appreciate it. And I know you've got your family there, so I'll let you get over and uh, get ready to pick up some prize money, mate. No worries. Yeah, okay, buddy. Well done, mate. Thanks a lot, Brett. So uh, Robbie's been over. Has he spoken to uh, Johnny Walker? Is the mayor turning up? Yeah, he was supposed to be. He was probably here at 2 o'clock. Be here at 2 o'clock? Okay, well, we'll just keep... We'll just keep talking for a bit longer and hopefully the Mayor will turn up and we will interview him and uh, thank him very much for his wonderful support of, uh, of this great event. And um, as Brett just said, it's come down to, um, it's come down that they've all got the same amount of wins, they've all got the same amount of, uh, of points of course because they've all won all their games, which is all five games and in a field like this, that's, uh, that's incredible. It really is incredible that they've won, that they've won um, all five games, so um, so it comes down now to uh, to margins, and there's really only a couple of uh, couple of shots in it, so uh, not too bad at all. It's uh, a wonderful, been a wonderful event. So uh, as I said, if you people out there have uh, not entered this for next year, I would be um, really uh, getting hold of um, Johnny Walker and putting your name down or your team down and. 
and uh, see how you go. Yeah, mate, it was. Yeah, it was too, Anthony. That was uh, that was a great end by the uh, by the young uh, Jacob Nelson led combination. So um, it uh, really was a bit of a turning point. I said we're just waiting for the uh, for the mayor. If he's going to turn up, we can uh, put him on air and and have a bit of a uh, a chinwag to him. So we see most of the players and the, all of the volunteers, of course. You can see them there. They're all in their Pi Albert clothes. They're, um, the volunteers are pulling down flags and pulling the shade cloths in and um, done a great job here. So huge congratulations to the Pi Albert Bowls Club and all the volunteers, the umpires, the bar people, the cooks. Um, everybody have done a superb job here and I think they've done their club very, very proud. And... Uh, Been very well, uh, very well done. Uh, we're just um, waiting to see uh, where they're going to do the presentation. Unfortunately, um, I don't think we can get a camera in to do the presentation. So, yep. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, we will um, more than likely sign off now. We've just been waiting to see if anyone's going to turn up. It looks as though they're not. So with that, uh, on behalf of Robbie Allen and myself, uh, we've got to pack up and get going back to um, the Gold Coast. So it's been an absolute pleasure bringing you this telecast from this wonderful destination and as we've said all weekend, if you want to come for a holiday, you want to go to a great place where it's safe for kids and have a great time, um, Fraser Coast region, you'd, uh, you, wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't have a bad time up here. It's a wonderful destination, particularly for kids. So on behalf of the uh, Pioba Classic Men's Falls in 2020, proudly sponsored by the Fraser Coast Regional Council, Harvey Bay RSL Club, Church of Christ in Queensland, Riviera Resort, Church of Christ Care, Fraser Coast Motor Centre, Clinton, Clayton Hearing and BCIB. Uh, insurance brokers do a great job for our wonderful sport. A big uh, thank you for uh, viewing. And all I can say on behalf of Robbie and myself, Brian Marshall and Robbie Allen, uh, enjoy your bowls and support your club. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a great weekend as much as we did bringing you this great event. Thank you very much.